پاکان پایتان تیگش رایگان. It is time for the Density Scrolls Friday Night Edition. Thanks everyone for joining me today in this, what should be, what I hope is, one of the most epic shows we've ever had. But you never know how it's going to go. You never know what you're going to find in the Density Scrolls. But I am not alone, my friends. I am not alone. I am joined by, of course, when you think scrolling, you think this gentleman, the one, the only, the Steve of the Dead. How you feeling, my friend? I'm a little bit upset because I had a receipt that I'd already prepared and I've lost it. So, 
I also have another person to introduce. No, I don't. No, I don't. I do not have anyone else to introduce. <laughs> so anyone hoping that we're going to see Justin, Justin Wong here get fucked. <laughs> Justin Wong's got more important shit to do than be on this little show. But I promise you, I promise you, I have brought the heat in the research. And once again, I want to say thanks, everybody who's already became a member. You guys are fucking legends. Thanks, dude. Uh, thanks, everyone. Uh, it's all you see the custom emails. We got Crying Chew. We got Taco. And we got Fatality, which I'm most fond of. And we got the bell, just in case I miss love the fucking bottom lines. Yes, the Fatality is, is a personal <laughs> fave. That, I, I love it. I can't love an emote more than that fucking shit right there, Fatality. And uh, you're all legends. Thanks so much, everybody. Which Attack oh. on Titan figure should I get? Yes, and Chu will be making an appearance. Every time someone becomes a member, you get a random Chu message. So uh, you just might have heard it there. <laughs> Hopefully you could hear that. <laughs> Chu has added her... Producer Chu has come in hot here and has added her beautiful voice into this. So... A, a random message will be played every time we get a member here today. And uh, thanks so much, everybody. Seriously, you guys are all fucking legends. It's awesome. But this show right here, this show right here is going to be a big one. It is all about Justin Wong himself, the legend that we all know and love. And uh, I will say this, Steve, before we get into it, though. Yeah. Um, I wanted to do a, a Justin Wong episode because, you know, mm -hmm. because it's just Justin Wong episode. He was talking about Justin Wong. You know how Phil feels about Justin Wong in the modern day. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's, 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 the Dead Sea Scrolls deals with Phil from, you know, 15 years ago, 16 years ago, 17 years ago, you know. And uh, here's the thing about Justin Wong. Justin Wong is not an asshole uh, and is a very, uh, how can I say this, normal human being that doesn't, doesn't care about people trolling him. <laughs> and uh, you'll see that there's not a lot of direct interactions with Justin Wong and DSP, right? There's not a, there's not a lot of interaction because Phil tries. But Justin doesn't give a shit <laughs> because why, right? So, but I did find a lot of good, good, uh, good, uh, as many good interactions as we can go through here. Uh, so real quick before we get to the, let's get to this kind of schedule. Um, I got a quick, of course, a little quick hitter for here you for you. Just get us going about Justin Wong and DSP, a classic matchup between DSP and and uh, Justin Wong, a live match, real quick. Then we'll get to a short forum, a forum thread, Which on Titan figure should I get? Uh, and then we're gonna get to a longer forum thread. And then we're going to get to a podcast buy me edition. A nice attack so it should be extremely hype. I hope it's going to be hype. That's what the goal is anyway. Uh, so let's get to that first. You know, here in the scrolls, we do, we, we say a lot of negative things about Phil, right, Steve? I think that's safe to say, right? I, I don't think it's unwarranted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Personally. Yeah. So I decided today we're going to start with a little positivity. Let's watch a match between Justin Wong and DSP that took place in 2008 at Evo East. 2006 Hyper Street Fighter 2 Finals. This is the finals. This is who will win the fight. This this match this is Evo East. So just in case you're not not sure, Evo East is not Evo. It is a oh god, don't play this. Mom, song. let's go off sex so now. Long. It's it been too long. Not uh, it's not Evo. It's Evo East. So it's a way to get into the real Evo, right? In in Vegas, right? That's what we're looking for here. So. East Coast yeah, yeah, side. Like a qualifier. Yes, yes, yes. So some people in the chat of this video we're going to watch here don't seem to get that. They say, whoa, I didn't know. I didn't. Well, let's play the video before I spoil anything. Let's get to it. This is uh, a special video. DSP versus Justin Wong. Here we go. And just so you know, Justin Wong uh, Justin Wong's on the left. DSP is on the right as a Balrog. So let's get to it. Uh just yes, sir. Very quickly, just very quickly to point out, uh, this is currently DSP is boxer and Justin Wong is dictator. Thank you so uh, much. Thank you so much for clearing that yeah, yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for clearing that up. This I know this this this, this uh. It's because of was... the name changes, so the the community calls them that. Claw. Thank boxer, you. Dictator. Yeah. That's why we have Steve in here. That's why he get, that's why Steve took the 50k to get in here. Okay, that's why that's why we bring him in here. But this look this just shows you how far Evo East has come. Evo has came because like this is like crazy like look how small this yeah is. This, this feels is... like a very small hall yeah. yeah just two dudes just sitting there and like there you go big ups everybody become members like you guys are so crazy and gift a membership from 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 boat night you guys are crazy man thanks so much guys let's get to it so watching oh so phil takes one it's not like i'm not it's in for the gameplay now. i'm just kind of see the ending yeah <laughs> One to one, final match. Here we go. Let's watch our boy DSP versus the legend Justin Wong. What's gonna happen? He's charging up something. 
Yeah, you got to get the commentary here. I'll be. I'll I'll, do the Phil commentary. I'll do the Phil commentary. Whoa, 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 whoa! (laughs) Dude, you got to calm down. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so there it is. Phil Burnell has won. Oh, we're not going to do another one. Okay, I'm not going to watch a whole fucking other one. Here it is again. Yeah, I'm assuming it's a two out of three set. Yeah, two out of three, blah, 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 blah. Let's watch the end. Let's see the ending. There we go. Phil's still in with the boxer. Being zoned out. Uh... <laughs> We're not in for the gameplay on this show. And thanks, Jenna, for carrying so let's covering put the whole screen. Up, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Get the to days the when I had to get like movies on uh, for dodgy sources, yeah. and you'd occasionally see somebody getting up and going to the toilet. That was really fun. I <laughs> oh, see people that know fighting games in the chat are saying like random super and stuff. I wish I could do that, but I can't. Yeah. I'm just watching and enjoying right now. This is basically the dead shot of Turbo. Oh, yeah, yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> you want to play the game? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's Justin Wong doing that action, by the way. So <laughs> he's clearly he's trying to win, so can't get in. Justin Wong wings this. It's the final ma- ma- matchup now. Oh, not yet. Oh, Excuse me. Fair Excuse me. There. Excuse me. Bill, jump over. Oh. Look what it's going to be. Oh. Random jabs, all unearned. <laughs> there we go. Spamming jabs. So DSP is the victor here. I wanted to show this for a reason. DSP did take that, and he is the... Ch- oh, we have another one? Are you serious? Come on, it's taking too much time. All right, round two. <laughs> Final. Two. Okay. If DSP wins this, he wins. <laughs> I think it's going to be two punch grab combo. Although he's doing a pretty decent amount of chip damage. There we go. Okay. Oh, there you there go. we go. And there he is. Stand up. There it is. Still finally wins. over. This is just a little quick hit here I wanted to show you. DSP did beat did beat Justin Wong here in this event. And listen carefully here, my friends. There we go. You hear that? Daigo, you're fucking next. <laughs> so DSP wow. feeling confident. The waddle off. Yeah. As uh, making Kim Ake. I will steal that joke happily. You get like the a waddle in slow motion <laughs> replay. <laughs> Let's go for the 2.5. Here we go. This this triumphant, triumphant. This is 240p, by the way. We're living in 240p. This is one of the oldest videos of DSP on the internet, by the way. This is from 2006. 2006. It's a healthy number of views. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The step over. Look at this. This dude works out. (laughs) Okay, done with that. But the comments of that video are very special. Extremely special. Mm -hmm. Um... You have a, a dichotomy of like new people coming in saying, look what happened to Phil, but then you have people defending Phil. Like levels of cuck I've never seen are in that chat. It, I mean, in that comment section, people like defending like another dude's bankruptcy and stuff. It's a really sad place. Uh, so don't go to those comments because it's a right. sad, sad place. <laughs> I, was, I was just about to say, because this is 2006. So this is before his channel. So yes. like people defending it would have been, you know, like part of the the community, and as we know from posts, he is sort of recognized in the yeah. community as being uh-huh. good at Super Turbo. Yep. But if it's people who've come since and are defending, like you know, oh, he had to go through bankruptcy or whatever, then that yeah, that is really sad. Yes, and That's, it's it it's yeah. like so many people saying, well, Phil got a bankruptcy. It was like a strategy and stuff. Just just, just oh god. Yeah, I'm not going to go through that. We could that could be an episode right there. But anyway, pools are obviously on, by the way. Pools are muted, though, because, you know, we're going to do a lot of fucking talking. So better have pools muted. But everything else is on. Everything is going crazy. Thanks once again, everybody, for uh, all the memberships and shit like that. You guys are fucking legends. So let's get to the we're going to start our story tonight with a Tokyo Game Action presents TGA ranking battles. Um, So it's just a, a you know how this you know how it goes. If you've seen Densi Scrolls, you've seen. That um, this shit happens. You know, people have tournaments. They set up what's going to be. They say the whole schedule, blah, 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 blah. Uh, So what matters here is that there is special guests in this one. I want to show you this part, the special guests. And we have out of state Street Fighter 3, Third Strike Warriors. Justin Wong is coming in with the bold... And uh, then also though, Bye. don't forget. Look at the look at the uh, <laughs> the credentials there. Five times world champ MVC two yeah. qualified for SBO two thousand six team TGA USA. He's, What's know. scary is this is like two thousand six, and this dude is already at this level. You know, setting just, out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's 
He 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 traveled to his first tournament when he was like 15 or something. I was reading about him. This Justin Wong is this legend. But uh, also we have Team Hate, um, um, monsters of Team Hate. We have <laughs> Dark Side Phil. Phil. Dark Side Phil's in the house, so he's a he's a he's a member of he's Team both. Hate at this point. Yes, <laughs> he's listed both. So three three ask a question: Is Team was Team Hate Phil's idea? No, we have learned that Team Hate was not Phil's idea. Uh, Phil was known for hate, but he he was the king of hate, but he wasn't on Team Hate, but then they kind of took Thanks him on for reasons. I don't know. So he was then kind of naturally added into Team Hate. Uh, but let's go. Let's it go did to our... exist before <laughs> yes. he was part of it. He's not like a founding <laughs> member. So our first, this again, quick recap. So any name that uh, was deleted or banned for whatever reason, uh, it goes to System 1 on this uh, forum. And we know it's Phil, though, because if we scroll down, we can usually see uh, uh, a quote. A quote. Paragraphs. Yeah, that's true, too. But we have a quote. And whenever <laughs> they quote it, for whatever reason, luckily for us, that shows who it is. So this is Dark Side Phil. We're going to start with number five uh -huh. the, right here. And he says, good choice on dates. Now people in the area can go to all three major events and not have to miss one. Is anybody ever going to step up and challenge me in Super Turbo? Or will I have to keep dominating until <laughs> ECC next year? <laughs> Steve's already you losing have it. To keep dominating. <laughs> Holy shit. Also, how many tournaments do you think I will mysteriously get eliminated from this time around without losing twice? I don't know what that means exactly, but uh, uh, well, I'm sure that's a stupid like, story. to qualify once. And... <laughs> yeah, I'm sure yeah. there's a stupid story there. Conspiracy you know that. There, yeah. You know there's a stupid story there. But will I listen to Nestor and pick up a Sentinel-based team in Marvel's Capcom 2 or to avoid smashing the cabinet into pieces Ooh. after it refuses to block basic Magneto rush down? So he's already complaining about components, complaining about cabinets. When there's not lag, there's still sticks you can complain about, guys. You didn't know that? You can it complain about the controls. refuses to block. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No matter what you do, hold it back. <laughs> so, uh, boat night, you can do visual. Uh, boat night, you can take commands to do the uh, the frames, and you'll see all the possible visions there for you. Uh, so, anyways, to answer these and more questions at the next TGA Rambat, whatever that's another event. Okay. So then we go to a little bit farther down. He gets challenged here uh, by someone. He says, uh, LOL, see, see your ass at C3 DSP. If I, if I come to this, I'll challenge you in Strooper Turbo as well. So he gets a nice little challenge. Mm -hmm. Nothing mm -hmm. wrong with that. You know, very cool. Very fine challenge. Yep. Uh, then we go, then we go down to all the way. Oh, it looks like he's yet yeah, $10 in. Uh, oh, that's a different one. $10 yeah, different one, different one. Yeah, strike. Different one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different one. Uh, so some people had mentioned some grudge matches here, uh, that mm -hmm. Phil was kind of not in, not in uh, right mm -hmm. here. There's no, Phil's just not a part of these uh, grudge matches. Yeah, yeah. So, of course, he has to make a comment. You know, that's coming. Those grudge matches, sleeping is so boring. Hopefully, Ed's commentary can make them more exciting. I've seen, heard it before, and I must admit, it's pretty funny. My commentary is pretty good, too, especially <laughs> when it's a boring or normal match. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Ask people who attended the last GT GDT. Ha ha. <laughs> so there we go. He is uh he's pretty good at commentary, guys. I don't know if you knew this. He's pretty good at commentary yeah, himself. So yeah, that's he's... pretty hype. Uh you know. A real this... Jerry Lolly. Yeah, so but we're not done. We're not done. We're not done. This this uh person here, System One, we can't unfortunately see who this is, but they're responding Ooh, to Phil. Yeah, yeah. Say, you should have commentated at Evo. I can say that too. Low, short, short, <laughs> low, short, 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 super. Far fierce, far fierce. Ha 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 ha. Now I assume that's mocking Phil, but <laughs> Yeah, a bit of a bit of a burn. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. I th uh, I actually L sandwich, there is that ski sauna clip. I didn't get that ready because we did play that last last time on the on the scrolls. I wanted to spam it. But yeah, if you search for Ski Sonic DSP uh, commentary, you can see uh, there is a moment where DSP is, is commentating with Ski Sonic. And of course, fans of the Scrolls will under will know who Ski Sonic is, that legend from the mm -hmm. uh, Snitchinator episode, which was one of my favorites. Um, he's there. And, and Phil, Phil is very bad at commentating. The guy said, listen, dude, listen, listen, listen. You have to not talk over me. You got to take over me. And Phil's like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, but there you go. This is a dig at Phil there that I thought was pretty funny. Um, and then another challenge to Phil, me versus DSP three, third strike. And I'm pointing out these challenges for a reason. We'll get back there. So just remember, just remember that Phil gets challenged, you know, all the time. It's not a big deal. People say, okay, I'll challenge you, Phil. I'll challenge you, Phil. It's cool. We're building towards something, kind of. Uh, now let's go to our, the, the man of the hour, or however many hours we're here today. Uh, Justin Wong enters the chat and says, if I, if I have no crazy schoolwork, I will come to Rambat. I owe the whole TGA a favor, and I'm dying to see this place. It sounds so nice. 
Um, I'm not sure the TGA. I think the, T, the TGA is Toko Game Action, the place where they're doing yeah. the tournament. Yeah. So he owed something. And as usual, Justin Wong is just the normal human being on these forums, which is a very mm-hmm. cool thing to be. But it just does, there's it's not a lot of... regular post. Yeah, yeah, it's a, just a regular yeah. normal post. Uh, we're going to go here. I am not sure if... The, I, there's no way for me to confirm this is DSP. So Steve, I'm going to ask for your assessment here. Uh, bitches bow down to the king because a reporter is going to show up to the Rambat, talk to her about it, and she is going to do a side story. Don't worry, I'm going to mention... No, no. I'm going to mention Team Hayden, Captain N. Mm, mm, does it, does spe- it read spelling like mistakes. Bell. Yeah, yeah, spelling mistakes, kind of. Uh, there's another Bill one would down... capitalize Team Hate. He would spell it properly. <laughs> he Absolutely. Uh, here's another one, though. There's someone named T... Uh, what's his name? Spick Tom. Okay, so he's, he's right here, the System 1. There's a gentleman named is Spick Tom. I'm just saying the names. I, I don't agree with that name, but there uh-huh. it is. Uh-huh. And this, I believe this one is definitely Phil. Uh, Spick Tom, I can't confirm it though, but here we go. Uh, Spick Tom, you do realize that making a name like that on SRK is just as stupid insulting to people as when you are spouting trash about team hate, right? Why don't you just take a low profile for a while instead of actively trying to piss people off? It might be a smart move. Oh yeah, I'm now taking this opportunity to officially retire from Marvel's Cap. Oh yeah, this is Phil, by the way. Sorry, I know it's Phil. I know it's Phil. Later, later he, that, that another comment is quoted. But anyway, this is definitely Phil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I am now taking this opportunity to officially retire from Marvel's Capcom 2. I'm going to focus purely on straight-up fighters from now on. No more of that bullshit. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right? So I'm not sure... He was taking too many losses. <laughs> he had to be. <laughs> what does that mean? Maybe you know better than me. What is this? How is Marvel's Capcom 2 not a straight-up fighter? Steve, what do you think um, about that comment? Uh, at best interpretation, it's because it's a three-on-three and not one-on-one. Okay, okay. You know, that's... Okay. I guess that probably makes... The, the... A team fight. Okay, team, tag team yeah, fight. Yeah, Thanks, yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. So you guys are on it. Um, and then Justin Wong again chimes in. This is the most bland post of all time. Nothing wrong with that, of course, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> you'll notice that a lot, that, uh, that, that is like this. So let's go to 91. Let's go to... Uh, just ignoring everything, usually. Justin Wong seems to like... He, he does the forums kind of in a way where... I need to learn information. I'll go to the forums and ask a question. I don't care what conversation is going on here. Probably because he's busy practicing, doing college stuff. You know, the kind of stuff that's yeah. probably more important than show you can forums. You know, that kind of Very stuff. Very pragmatic <laughs> about it, yeah. Yes, not, yes. Not there for the drama, <laughs> like just, hey guys, does anyone know where this arcade is? But... So here we get the uh, semi-clap back at Phil. Um, uh, this is the person quoting Phil, so we know that was Phil mm-hmm. before. Mm-hmm. He says, uh, let's go back. DSP, I'm not trying to piss people off at all. It goes with my views on that type of stuff and that people should just lighten up on shit like that. Well, come on, man. Your name's Spick Tom. Mm-hmm. So. If I were to put Spick Tom, people would get pissed off on that too. Uh, okay, you did put that. But anyways, look at what I... Look, look, I will make you a deal. If you could come up with something creative, then I'll use that. But until then, it stays. If people want to know why I chose that, then ask. Don't assume. Okay, this guy's an idiot. But also, but so the main point is here at the bottom. Also, why are you quitting a game you like so much? I think that's stupid. Just play and have fun with it. And I thought that was a fighting game. So, great, great point. Uh, next back, this person says DSP wants to quit Marvel because if he deals with more bullshit, he's going to break the cabinets. Yep. And I think Andy wouldn't like that. There we go. <laughs> is it the Andy the guy out? who owns the arcade? <laughs> yes, so it is. Tournaments out, yeah. Yeah. So Andy wouldn't like that. He definitely wouldn't like there that. So go. of course Phil has to clap back, and we get the bullet points, boys. Bullet points. Bullet points. Oh. First first time of the night, bullet points. It's Here not the go. last time we'll see him tonight. Not the last time. Here we go. Spick Tom. <laughs> how about big streaming shithead? It would definitely reflect how you've been acting. Chill out before somebody black beats your ass down for being an idiot. Mm. So listen to this. Listen to this. I'm going to read this again. And you tell me if it means what I think it means. Chill out before somebody black beats your ass down for being an idiot. So I think he's saying this is an African American gentleman might beat his ass, right? Is that what it means? Yeah, that's that's okay. the way I'm taking it. I just it. wanted to uh, get your expert opinion on that, of course. It seemed to me that he's talking about an African American gentleman there, unfortunately. Urban style. Yes, urban style. I would that's what it starts hope <laughs> that like in the most again, in the most generous reading of this, Phil would be sort of like trying to say, Hey mate, don't have like a racist term in your um in your name until you know in case somebody like from that ethnicity takes offense <laughs> i guess but I it's guess. phil yeah. but it's phil so we know like where he's <laughs> more likely to be coming from yes a, they, a, uh, a negative stereotype of urban style or more likely gen- yeah urban style or more likely to beat you up i guess is what yeah. maybe he might be thinking yeah, that sort of thing. uh, like that kind of thing i'm I can't confirm or deny that but there you go I, i'm sort of leaning more <laughs> that way than the other 
Yeah, to be honest. And you'd be right to do that. <laughs> All right, so the real reason he's quitting Marvel's Capcom 2, of course, is I haven't had fun playing this it's game a more in years. a point. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing new has happened in the game in years. The game is garbage. It's the most control-intensive game in history, and I'm sick of losing to players solely because something doesn't block. <laughs> Dude, or a, it's, or a... <laughs> it's the same controls as Street Fighter. It's actually, like, easier because they remove, like, you know, your individual punches and kicks. So yeah. it's instead just light, medium, and heavy attack. You know, well, and, and you know, it's, it... <laughs> you know, you know, Phil doesn't like when something ah. doesn't block. Of course, he always does the correct, uh, the correct inputs. Oh, Boat Knight. Yeah, this game wasn't online, but he complains about the controls then, right? The controls at I the arcades like, are the problem. I feel like maybe in a previous post, he has complained about the quality of those cabinets. Mm -hmm. Oh, that yeah. Arcade. I oh, feel yeah, like yeah. that's true. Like he said, by the way, this place has two NPC cabs, but the joysticks are shit. Mm -hmm. I feel mm -hmm. like he's said something like that. So let's get to the... Uh, so he also... Uh, Viper Beam won't come out. Like, I don't know how to do a Viper Beam after playing the game since 2000. <sighs> so he's doing everything correct. Uh -huh. Game is not giving him what he wants. Okay, this that started... This is 2006, by the way. So we're looking at a 24-year-old gentleman here writing this. Uh, competition has died in Connecticut, so unlike previously, I have no opportunities to play it and stay on top of my game anymore. <laughs> there are too many ridiculous scrubs who play it and random people out. It's super frustrating. Wait, okay? so how, how... I'm not sure what that means. How has competition <laughs> died if there's too many people playing it? <laughs> They're not the right kind of competition, I guess. They're not... They are scrubs. <laughs> they are apparently scrubs, Steve. You can't play scrubs. You know that. <laughs> I want competition that's not scrubs. Okay. Fair enough. Uh -huh. Right. The game is garbage That's why again. Changed consoles <laughs> and gone to the PlayStation and started mm -hmm. again with that mm -hmm. ranking. Uh, the game is garbage. Every time I play it, I get pissed off, and it's not worth it anymore. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that's, that's that. on you. That's on you. <laughs> that's the best. Oh my god! What's wrong with the game? It makes me mad, <laughs> which is a fine thing. But you can't I have save to kiss the game. My girlfriend, fault. before I play it. Hey, cat, come here. I'm about to play Marvel vs. Capcom 2. The only exception was that Texas showdown this year, but besides that, I haven't had fun playing this since 2003. So he, oh, this is this is a repeat point, by the way. I don't know if he's Jin, Jin uh, posting today, but it's definitely. Oh, he's he said he has, he's, on, he's on the forums. He's, he's probably steaming. He's kind of ran out of things to say. The game is garbage number nine. The game is garbage number 10. Um, I spend too much time playing it at tournaments and casuals tournaments. Huh? I. Spend too much time playing it at tournaments, in casuals, tourney. Or tournament matches. Okay, instead of focusing on the straight-up fighters. Okay, got it, got it. Where the real competition is at. Oh, yeah, the game is garbage. You could do three on three. No. Just, just, no, just technically don't. not. It's not three on three, because you don't call them in at the same time. It's... So there we go. Um, well, CBS2 has sort of three on three. But... All right, so we're at 105. Let's go to 124. That is why oh. Phil quit Marvel's Capcom 2. Just a small thing there. Two things. So people are talking about this. This this gentleman right here, the system update is is explaining about the event, right? A lot of things, you know, technical mm -hmm. stuff. Hey, we're gonna play these games. Blah 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 blah. Uh, let's get to Phil. Two things. Commentary does not have to be play by play. Both Ed and I have done some really good slash funny commentary. Ed's can be heard in many videos on the net. So I don't think we would be totally right right out commentary if people might want to hear us fucking around. Trust me, not everybody is a boring ass drip like Rockefeller. Some of us actually know how to be funny and entertaining. <laughs> Again, very oh, confident God. in his self skills. I think having me and Ed commentate would be interesting, but it's just a thought. All right, yeah, we get the point. No, but, you want to commentate, bitch. Yeah, but you need play by play because you need to understand what's going on in a game where, you know, things change very rapidly and things can happen very rapidly. And he just wants to fuck he, around. He just wants yeah. to fuck around, to get honest. All right, so if you really want to make extra money, he thinks it's like WWF <laughs> again. He thinks he could do like like a JR and, and, and Jerry Lawler thing where they could do a back and forth, you know, like or Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby Heenan. Yes. You know. <laughs> and so he just wants like, to fuck well, around. Stop. He wants to fuck around on the mic and just like talk, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, anyways, stop. if he if you want to if you want to really and this is very funny for Dent C Scrolls listeners, if you really want to make some extra money, get the grill popping. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, besides Chinese and Subway, there's not so much to eat in the area. I myself would probably drop 10, 20 bucks at that grill if it worked. Phil loves grills. I mean, I did not know mm. this. Clearly a, a grill fan, right? 
Uh, do you have any idea how much money the break makes with their cheesesteak specials? All right. So thanks, Phil. A little commentary well, there. You know, he's, he's, he's got a gas-powered one now, and let me tell you, they change your life. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Revolutionized barbecuing for me. Let's let's move on. So Phil has some questions. Phil I'm has never questions. going back to charcoal. Oh no, never. You can't go back at this point. Uh, two questions from Phil here is that there is no th- third strike teams this time, correct? Because I'm going to ask Justin if he wanted to team with me again Ooh. and win, just like in Virginia. So direct, mm-hmm. not directly uh, commenting to Sir Wong, but mentioning Sir Wong. Uh, what's up with the mm-hmm. rankings? I keep seeing Rambat and stuff about points, but I don't see any points listed anywhere since we started this thing. What gives? Someone responds to those two questions. Teams uh, were picked randomly. Yeah, so we can yeah, have a team know. tourney if you'd like. Two versus two seems the best point. Five dollars per head. Three six. But it's kind of, kind of normal stuff. Let's skip it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not, nothing there. Uh, and he asked about the the food, th- uh, the the rankings, pain in the ass, blah blah. Not too interesting. Uh, just a normal response. Let's go to a more humorous response here, which I think you're gonna enjoy. <laughs> um, someone has a little comment. Yes. It is going to be interesting indeed. <laughs> that is definitely a, a, a slap in the face to his commentary. I yeah. yeah. That looks like a dig. Yeah, absolutely. Give it the ruffle, ruffle thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, yeah, that will be interesting. Yes, that will be interesting. Uh, let's keep going. We're not back. We have some, a very good post. 163. Uh, I still don't have the sound effect for it, but this would be a Sounds great time for it. That is all, Philip it, Burnell. Oh, wow. Writing as much as everyone else in a single post throughout the whole thread, basically. Uh, I'm definitely not reading all this, uh, <laughs> but this is, it's, it's, I'll get to the interesting parts. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? <laughs> Hold a fucking minute. So I'm talking to fellow team hate member Tony B, aka T Rex, and we're gonna we're talking about what we're gonna do for TGA this weekend. I guess I'll read it. <laughs> it might be funny. Yeah, uh, you, usually, yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> usually we drive up on Saturday, and I pick him up along the way. But this time around, I'm tired of driving. I don't want to drive all the way back from TGA to CT Saturday night. It you sucks after an entire day of gaming, then to having to drive three and a half hours back home at three in the morning. So I suggest to Tony that w- that we we. As Paul Wall, oh, we ask Paul Wall what the deal is because Paul has had us over there a few times for games and gave us some somewhere to crash. He's also okay. I want you to keep in mind that somewhere to crash line, okay? Somewhere yeah, to yeah. crash. It's gonna come back in the future in the next uh, form, a uh, next uh, thread. He's also offered to have to come out and crash to the place to blah blah blah. The weekend might got kind of rushed. Tony B tells me straight up, don't even bother. Tony B <sighs> tells me straight up, don't even bother. Paul Wall, one of the original Team Hate members, is having all the NYC players coming to TGA, staying at his place. Empire Arcadia is fucking crashing at the Hate Cave. You uh, believe the that? Hate Cave. At the Hate Cave. You do not want to mess with that Hate Cave. The Hate Cave is real. Like, like, like a pole sliding down into it and everything. <laughs> to the Hate Cave. Yes. To the Hate Cave. Let's go. Let's start our hating. Now I'm not one for stupid rivalries between gaming groups. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even give a shit about that drama. Yeah. Unless TFGM says something stupid. Oh, that's Triforce. Triforce uh, says something stupid and pisses me off. But let's be honest. Paul always has Team Hate members over during these TGA events. His place is kind of cramped as it is, with room for maybe a few people to sleep on the floor couch. But it's mad cool he lets people crash. Mad cool. In case you didn't yeah, hear that correctly. Mad respect. Cool. Uh, obviously. Respect. Cool. Uh, but now he's freely offering up that space to NYC players without even asking around if anyone from Team Hate is interested in coming by. So... Phil right Desi, now just Desi in chat the hate signal. <laughs> <laughs> just to just to clear this up what we're talking about here, he is pissed that someone is not offering up the, their house for team hate. They're letting randoms yeah. come in. But here's yeah. where it gets interesting. Here is why this thread is included it tonight. Let's be honest. Why is it that whenever Justin Wong and Empire members want to get to a tournament, 100,000 people come out of the woodwork to offer them rides and a place to stay? But if it's somebody non-Empire, oh my god, it's like fucking pulling teeth for people to even come over and play games. Even if you have a fucking pimp-ass hotel room and three game setups. That's <laughs> ringing a bell. Mm. I wonder who mm. might have posted on SRK and talked about mm. having pimping-ass hotel room and three game setups. I wonder... Setups. I wonder... <laughs> This is massive. 
like, this is incredible. Right. This is right. Well, it's... even yeah. This Go is on. like we have that one part. We have the famous line already. Where why are people why are people scared to ask DSP? And it, the response is because it's DSP. This is this is Phil talking telling us the other side of it. Well, how he feels about that. How come no one wants to be with me? I have big hotel rooms and three game setups. Can we please well, I mean, come by? What's going on? Yeah, it, it's <laughs> sort of like the the prelude to my point, which is who would you rather put up in, in your place? Would you rather put up this just in one guy who's known among the community as being one of like the nicest guys? Or would you like to put up somebody who calls himself the king of hate <laughs> from team hate? You know? <laughs> Yeah. And who like, do you want to hang around with? Yeah, really? like it seems knows, like a nicer person. Everyone knows he's a, this is an asshole. I mean, he Phil will say tell he's an asshole these days. Why would they want to like just the butt hurtness and to say this out loud to write this man? I to, this is not a kid either. At, by no means a kid, dude. That's incredible. It's it's fucking pulling teeth for people to even come over. Yeah, get the hint. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that's uh, that's like imagine that. Let's let's change let's change the, the setting. I'm having a party, guys, but it's like pulling teeth to get people from my school to come to my party. Yeah, you get the hint? Dude, our aid lord <laughs> picked up on social hints quicker than this. Yeah. Let's keep going, though. I'm sorry, but this madness has to stop. It has to stop. <laughs> this really this pisses madness. me off. This is madness not coming over to my hotel room. That's madness. I don't know if you knew that. That's madness. What's the definition of madness? Not coming to my hotel room. <laughs> this really pisses me off. Someone like Tony, somebody like Tony B, who everybody knows is very limited on money, but is cool as shit and really good at Street. Uh, see, uh, that's um, Capcom versus uh, what's CVS again? SNK. SNK. Capcom yes. versus SNK. Yeah. Someone like me who has gone to TGA since the first Rambat at the new location and supported Andy throughout the entire time he was having drama last year. We got second fiddle because our names are Justin Wong or another oh. Empire member. We have to make the long drive and have to pay for a hotel. If we don't feel like driving all the way back at 3 a.m. in the morning, this is fucking yeah. bullshit. But nobody's making you pay for, like, the grandest suite in the hotel. That's the problem, Phil. You're Absolutely. like, yo, check out how bitchy my room is. I've got, like, a whole table for people to sit at. And, you know, we've got multiple game setups. And it's like, you could have just got a normal room. Mm. You know? It, well, I he mean, had... He, he, one room, he he buys a you know expensive as shit hotel room, brings all the systems because he thinks it's gonna get people to his house. You know, he thinks it's gonna be the hypeness. That's what he wants. Shout out Spider Pig. Uh, but Paul, in the words of my fellow team, <laughs> Paul, in the words of my fellow team hate members from our hate cave, you're fucking up. You're fucking <laughs> up. Like, what is this? Sounds like they need a, um, a a sorority house. Is it a sorority? For, <laughs> yeah, for yeah, guys. sorority. Uh, yeah, sorority. Yeah, fraternity yeah. is a girl sorority. Fraternity. Uh, that's fraternity. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And this, that goes the same for anyone who's driving to NYC, guys, from Paul's TJ. Grow some fucking stones. This are, I love that. I, I mean, He's thrown that in. Um, oh, is he directing that to Paul? Yeah, or it's like, he... grow some stones to what? Invite us yeah, over? Right. I, don't, I, don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't understand the stones, but all right. This reminds me so much of when the Japanese mm. first started coming to the USA and everyone bent over backwards to massage their ball sacks at every turn. Know who your fucking friends are. Fucking friends are. This is ridiculous. This is insane. Oh, that's, again, this is, the anti-Japanese sentiment. Coming from Phil. He, Phil's biggest driver in these days seems to be jealousy. Jealousy. This is absolutely to fit jealous in. Yeah. of them getting like treatment. Because they're coming from <laughs> fucking Japan and people want to make it feel welcome. And he's like, why aren't I getting the same treatment? Why, why, why am I not? Well? Yeah. Hey, why am I not getting treated the same as Justin Wong? And people, you know, I'm on Team Hate. You recognize who I am? I'm on Team Hate. All right. So you're fucking up. Keep that in mind. Know who your okay, friends well, are. What does that mean? I'm number one in America. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot respect. to do it. <laughs> Steve, unfortunately, respect. you can hear this. But chat like this. Hey, real quick. Justin Wong, what do you get for fourth place at Evo in 2005? Fourth place doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. Thank you for that. I wasn't sure. Uh, let's go. And, and, and it was, I just found out that Justin Wong is not coming anymore. But there are still like five NYC players, including KO Fiend, blah, blah, blah. Sure, we're cool with KO Fiend and Flair. But what the fuck is up with all these random peeps? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Random peeps, random peeps. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, let's go to the clapback. Of course we have clapback. Oh, the uh, one above oh, yeah, right here. was clapping back as well, Master G. Hey, now, I'm one of those random peeps last time. We got to pause and fill in the morning. It was taxing all of us, especially Sean, following Paul. I, I don't know what's wrong with that, you know. You drove three and a half hours back. We drove five hours. So it helps us out a lot. Don't hate, player, participate. Well, that's a great sentiment. 
yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Boat Knight. That'd be a good question. Does Daigo know who DSP is at this point? That'd be a great question. Because <laughs> he did say he was coming for him. <laughs> I'm sure he knows who it is, but not in the way he wants to be remembered. Anyway, this... Uh, the. Okay, people are laughing now, and literally the chat turns at this moment. Yeah. Uh, you know, DSP is post. Phil, the only people from Empire Arcadia that's going to, going is Issa and I. So from in New York, it's Kaofine Flair. Issa, four people total. No random peeps, asshole. Out of nowhere. Just out of nowhere. Uh, of course, of oh, course we get another clap back. Clap back, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Nobody's saying the TGA isn't out in the bumblefuck. We all know that. And also, I have gotten the offer to stay at Paul's, though Tony that time, but I, want, I wanted to get home. The difference here is that players who are, one... Haven't and been cool with what? Team Hate for so, so long. Why is he yeah. bitching? He got the offer. They asked him, do you want to get? He's like, no, nah, I want to get home. This is one of those why ones where it's like you... so ridiculous that people like stop caring. It's so ridiculous. You know what I mean? But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you, how old are you? Only you know? he has the problem. Nobody else cares. The difference here you know? is that players who haven't been cool with Team Hate for so long, that's a fucking niche thing to complain mm -hmm. about. Uh, mm -hmm. Haven't been over to Paul so much, if at all, got this great offer before fellow Team Hate members did. It just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, Sidon, you said it right. How do I get friends? You still haven't told me. I got a nice hotel room. <laughs> yeah. I got a nice he hotel is, room. What's going it's on? Transactional. I can give you stuff, and you'll like me. It's, I'm not at this hope... primal sort of <laughs> developmental level. It is essentially look. I've got cool toys. Come and play around at my house. <laughs> Yeah, that's the exact thing. You know when sometimes, okay, I'm going to admit it. You know your friend, you kind of, mm -hmm. back in the day, you don't really like him, but he got Super Nintendo first. You're like, all right, yeah, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll go over there. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's yep. what Phil's going for here. Phil's like that. Yeah, you know? where I first played Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah. Friend across the road, Jamie, he had a SNES. <laughs> yeah, you don't really like him, but it's like, you know, he got it. So we got it. We, we'll put up with it. We'll put up with it. He's got a little quirky, but we'll deal with it, you know, that kind of thing. And that, yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's them. That's him, yep. 100%. All right, but I hope I'm not coming off like a greedy douchebag. Well, you are. Uh, I know that Paul doesn't have to offer shit to anyone, but but stuff reciprocates, you know? At Evil East, I opened my house up to anybody that wanted to stay. And coincidentally, it was Team Hate that got those spots. Now all of a sudden, I, I go to plan a trip, and if it's oops, tough luck, NYC is more important than other Team Hate. Come on, See, but But stuff reciprocates, you know? It's like, I've done good things. You should be doing good things for me. It's It's a very narcissistic thing, because it's like, done good things for you, now you owe me. So, you know, when I demand later, you should be, you know, meeting my demands. Um, Whereas so then... the reality is like, <laughs> dude, come on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, this guy, uh, random stuff here. Not so much good stuff here. He says, are you even sure what you're saying? I just spoke with Nestor. He said four of you plus five. Okay, the, the other way. This guy yeah. is uh, DSP again, I believe. I can't confirm just this is seeing DSP, this but... thing is pretty fucked up as the get-go. I assume it is because he's responding to the other bloke mm -hmm. who mocked him. So it's probably, yeah. By Probably. the way, when are you going to quit that Empire faggotry and join the Hate Army? Mm. Shout out mm. to Hate. See, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Join the Hate Army. I think it's Phil. Dang okay, DSP. Right. There was another one briefly. Very, I think it was oh, like yeah. two sentences. Uh, yeah, dang there, DSP. Dang DSP. It's kind of not funny, but it just says, yeah, I never really felt that way. I'll come to the game in the room and you can record beating the crap out of me. So like he's saying like, oh, you had a room that you want people in? I would have went. This guy's probably a yeah. nobody. So then DSP1 has been, what does not want him in his room. For sure. He doesn't want to know nobody. He wants, he wants just a Wong in his room. Come on. Uh, anyways, let's keep moving. So then Shankar says, yes, I'm sure I live with Kaylin Flair. So it's just the three of us plus Issei. John is on the phone with Nestor right now, so he can confirm for you. Also, I thought you were picking up Ming on Saturday, but blah, blah, blah. Phil, I never quit the Empire. The dark side is too strong. I can feel uh, the anger in you. Young yeah, DS yeah. Skywalker. <laughs> I like that. DS, D, D Skywalker. Maybe you should join the most hated crew on this side of the Mississippi. It's all good, though. I'm cool with Team Hate. I'm like an honorary member or something. Kind of like how Eminem is on Shady Aftermath. There we go. <laughs> Eminem style reference. We're almost done with this beginning thread, my friends. Uh, look at this quote. Oh, my God. Every time I scroll, it's funny. But there we go. Okay, okay, okay. What the fuck is this anyways? You're basically saying that I heard Justin's coming. I was like, oh, oh, Justin, please stay here. Let's play. Well, that ain't me because... That ain't me, basically. Me and co friends, he stayed over. But he's explaining how stupid that is. And I love this yeah. last line. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Peace. <laughs> Team hate <laughs> bitches. Nuff said. Is that another equivalent <laughs> of like, nuff said? Big ups, Reno Ryan. You're a legend, man. Good luck on the pool. If it happened already, I'm not sure. Are you at Woodland Creators? There we go. Uh, DSP, and then this person DSP, right here. DSP, you, you fucking up. up. 
<laughs> oh, there you go, Rand. I got your message now. That one friend that has a super cool rock they found by the lake. You have to put it on your mammoth hide loincloth and get over. Oh, yeah, that's an ALT joke. I got it. ALT was that kid with the rock. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Be- well done. <laughs> You have to, I'll read it to give it full credit. That one friend that has a super cool rock they found by the lake. You have to put on your mammoth hide loincloth and get go get over there to check it out. ALT was that kid with the rock. Thank you, Reno Ryan. Appreciate that. <laughs> so DSP, you fucking up. I uh-huh. I would give that a, I would give that an eight out of ten. Solid eight. Mm-hmm. It's very nice. Uh, it has nothing to do with me not wanting to come by. It has to do with the fact that you guys get to get a Thursdays for games when I can't come. I have work at 8 a.m. Fridays, and a three-hour drive each way isn't going to cut it. This 8 a.m. work would be at Sikorsky, by the way. Um, Isn't going to cut it. If you remember a couple times when you guys were playing on Saturday, I did come by, and I brought my setup gladly. I brought my setup gladly, guys. Come on. We know Justin isn't coming now, so it's not like that. When I first talked to Tony, he thought that Justin and lots of other NYCPs were coming. Now we know there's only four, but still, it's like whenever I try to make an effort to go to something, and I'm actually looking for a break. Oh, my God. Yes, yes, this is the line. <clears throat> I, it's like whenever I make an effort to go to something and I'm actually looking for a break, I feel like Mary and Joseph, no room at the inn, gonna be sleeping out in the stable Saturday night. That manger straw best be soft. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Good start. I feel like I can... Mary Joseph, no room at the inn. <laughs> Is it enough to compare yourself to Job? No. <laughs> you have to compare yourself. Oh my god. Of Jesus Christ. So now let's talk about what Phil's complained about. People won't come to where he is, and they also won't let them go to where they are. So get the hint. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. <laughs> god. He's it's literally co- complaining that like when he tries to go to other places, other tournaments and things, and wants somewhere to stay, nobody will let him stay anywhere. Even though when he, you know, when tournaments are in Connecticut, he's like gladly opening his doors people mm-hmm. you know but it's like now, this there's a hint there like meerkat said last time about the you know the length of the paragraphs yeah like air raid would said and then like phil would be like one or two sentences there's a hint there that you should be getting mm-hmm. you know if you <laughs> absolutely absolutely and and so you know this the why this thread is interesting is that phil complained about no one comes to where he is and no one lets him go where they are. That's what I thought is just incredible. Like that's he, he complains about both sides of both sides. You know, just no one's yeah. letting me in. But it's not his fault. It's not DSP's fault. No way. Come on, guys. What's going on? And that is how this one ends. There's no more uh, DSP. No more Justin Wong. That is the end of that little mini thread there, which I think was pretty interesting. But there we go. Um, it was worth it for that biblical climax. Yeah, the biblical climax. Yes. Um, just a little palate cleanser here before we get to our main thing. Let's hear what Justin Wong said about DSP in 2014. I'm sure many of you heard this clip, but it's worth playing. It's only a minute. Here we go. Justin, did you, did you have any more honorable, uh, dishonorable mentions? Um, hmm. I guess I would agree with you with DSP. Yeah, my like, boy. Because what DSP like does, uh, like, in person, oh! he's all nice to me and shit. But in per- oh, and then, and then oh, no. when he makes a YouTube video, he, he thinks he's all hard and crap. Uh-huh. So that's what gets me pissed off. Like, do you guys remember the whole thing with DSP and like, like with the West Coast people where they almost like he he was like really scared oh that he was about to get beat up. Like, yeah, I remember that in San Diego. I think Java approached him at Evo or something, right? Evo West. Uh, yeah. Evo West was at the San Diego event. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think I think like Java and like lots more like looking for him if he ever came down to one of the Evo events or something. Big ups. Yeah. So yeah. like he was like. Shout out. I heard he was like crying and everything, so that was pretty, pretty funny. <laughs> I like how, like when Justin Wong says that was pretty funny, it's like more cutting because he's so like low key. Like it really yeah. cuts, you know. He's like, yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Big yeah. up to down four punch like, real yeah, quick. Because you get everything yeah. in the subtext, don't you? Uh-huh. You get like the full weight of what he means. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Sounds so cutting. Big up's down forward punch as manger straw style bed at the at the someone's stable. I would not repeat that joke. That's not allowed here. Thin ice down forward punch. Thin ice. Here we go. <laughs> I knew they'd get some stable references uh, when Phil managed to say that. So that was pretty, pretty funny. <laughs> pretty funny. Pretty funny. It's, 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 it's a bad reference anyway because they were riding on a donkey. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's why Steve's there. <laughs> All right. Let's get to the first of our two main events. This this is really the main event here. This is the um we're gonna go to 2008. So we're fast forwarding two years you in to time. Bring the frankincense. Why didn't you listen to me? <laughs> Where's the myrrh? You still haven't told me. 
<laughs> All right, let's go. So this is SBL Evo Qualifiers Midwest Championships in Northbrook, Illinois, June twentieth to twenty second in two thousand eight. This is po- this what that means is we are post DSP's fourth uh fourth uh, uh finish in Evo, of course, which happened during two thousand and five. Real quick, Justin, what do you get for fourth? I'm not really sure. Fourth place doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. I wasn't sure about that, but let's get to it. This is we um just saw it out our Christmas episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so obviously, this is the same thing as before. This is people saying, hey, there's a tournament. Here's what we're going to do. Here's all the games. Blah, 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 blah. Here's the yeah. equipment. Here's so let's get to where Justin enters the, the conversation here. And uh, that will be right about there. And Justin says, I love Jason Wilson tourneys. I'm there. So Justin announces early that he is in. He's coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this next is the... We're going to fast forward a lot here. We get to the organizer of the, this dream TR is going to be a big player in this thread. He is the organizer of this event. So keep him in your mind uh, and uh, people just random stuff. But he says this, my money is on, is still on some Justin Wong based team or FFA based team. Neither of which will complain about sticks. They'll just <laughs> win. They will just like win. Team, hey. They will just win. And uh, keep that in your mind here. That's, that's going to be come back. Uh, Justin Wong says, I love you too, Jason. So uh, some love there. Uh, then we go a little bit further. People talking about the tournament, you know, what's going to be, where it's going to stay, all that kind of stuff, nonsense. And uh, here it picks up some heat here. Justin Wong himself starts asking, hey, anyone want to money match me? Any game? Any stipulations? Just looking looking mm-hmm. for some money matches, which is a very common thing yep. uh, in, these, in these situations. Uh, a nice attack on Titan figure. And there we go. We go to the next one here is... Honto? Uh, where did I put that? 584, not that far. Right here. And uh, I, I, I take all bets. Any more? Justin is really interested in money matches here. Yep. Really interested yeah, in yeah. money matches. Any more? What's going on? Any more? Mm-hmm. Anyone want to do it? Uh, so yeah, clearly he's, you know, he's, he's pretty active on that. Uh, 593. Uh, and I will show you here. <clears throat> for, for, remember I said you were to remember that people challenge DSP. Uh, Justin Wong has trouble finding money matches. Uh, he does have trouble finding money matches, which you might understand why, right? It's not, you know, I he mean, makes yeah, money. He's, just, he's one <laughs> yeah. of the best yeah. players. So, People like yeah. to keep their money usually. So, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. you don't want to just give it away when you know you're going to lose. Um, so, mm-hmm. th- and this person, BT, notices, LOL, Justin Wong, getting that money, right? So he's just getting going after the money. And $20, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, RCBS 2. Right? Yeah, and... Uh, and some people are, okay, anyway, so let's keep moving on. Then we go to, let's get our, our, our favorite uh, I suppose it's number th- in number three there, Galleon. That's not K Galleon, is it? No, no, it couldn't be, right? We have seen Galleon before. Galleon before. I, it could not be. I don't think he had that much yeah. skill, could he? But uh, let's go to where our favorite SRK poster joins the chat. He take, took a while to get in this one, but he does join in earnest. Uh, Daddy's home, very you're unusual all... unusual name. Sorry. Daddy's home, you're all fucked, is how we enter this thread. Strap in, boys. Strap in, boys. We're going in hard here. Bill enters the chat with, Daddy's home, you're all fucked. Okay? Get ready. Yeah, okay. To get fucked. Get ready to get fucked. Daddy's here. All right. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, D- someone said someone said a little earlier, DSP, if I make it to M- uh, MWC, this place here, this Midwest Championships or whatever, I will money match you first to five for $30. So, this is a unasked for money match. Phil gets a lot of these. Um Someone that, you know, some people say later has, you know, walking ATM, that kind of thing. It makes sense, yeah. right? Uh, I just wanted to show the the difference here of, of Justin Wong begging, basically, for money matches. Please give me money matches, guys. I just want some money matches. And Phil just gets them without even asking. Just, hey, hey, Phil, get, I, I want a money match with you. I'm challenging your ass. Uh, and then we go down. And Phil's response to that is, this post means you will not be making it to, to Midwest Championships. Phil is so confident that because you said this, that means you uh-huh. definitely aren't going to make it. Okay, so confident My dude is $30. Skills. Come on. <laughs> I mean, yeah. In the end, $30. <laughs> Ultimately. <yes. laughs> uh, so then we go to right here. And uh, it means I'm waiting for an ins- ins- for an insurance settlement before I can buy my ticket. So this person says, like, you know, hey, okay. I- I- I'm going to yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. If I can be there, I'll do that. Okay? So yeah, yeah. neither here nor there. Uh, 642. There it is. Uh, again, NKI. So NKI is going to be a big player in this thread as well. Uh, he says race to ten for fifty, right? Race to ten for fifty. Race to ten was a pretty uh-huh. common, uh, a common 
uh, kind of style for these money matches, uh, as yeah, you've yeah. seen. First uh, 10 wins. Yep. And then Humbug here comes $10 on NKI. So we have this I would like to see. $10 on NKI. Someone is interested in seeing the match yep. between these two, two people. Which, you know, as we could oh, see. Oh, again. Below them. Be right. I'm with Humbug. I'm, the I'm with Humbug. 10 for an NKI. So we, we, the, the, the hype is building here. Hype is building on, on, the, on the NKI's team, right? NKI's being a little hype here. Yeah. Uh, and then we go to 657, right there. That'll get us there. Uh, and that's right here. Jason, uh, can we do anything about that? Oh, yeah, this is this is good. So, Jason, can we do anything about that cab that AE was on last year? There's a fucking bolt oddly placed on the right-hand side that rubs against your hand. It caused a huge welt on my wrist last year, and I'm actually considering bringing bandages or something. No idea why they would have placed a Hold bolt up. there in I the first place. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Okay. Uh -huh. so, so this, uh, this is why you want to smash cabinets. Complaining about the uh, controls of cabinets. Makes sense, right? That makes sense. That's very on brand. Very on brand. Yeah. Uh, I do want to show you, just so we have a little bit of context here. Slight context. A little kind of a detour. This is this is N... Uh, N let me get it up here. This is NKI. N N K I'm assuming Arcade Edition. NKI is right here. Just... So, because NK, NK is going to be a big player here, so I just want to show you what NK is like. Um, you know, I don't know anything about him, but here's a here's a one forty second interview with him, so you get to know what he's like a little bit. And I'm still on point oh, two still five on. speed. Oh, 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 my style is basically just shenanigans. And once you figure out my shenanigans, I'm done. But luckily, most people haven't figured it out yet. I really like when I know they're gonna sit there, just throw, walk up throw. I like the blatant half screen walk up throw. There we go. That is NKI. So keep that in your mind. We have NKI, a little bit of reference of NKI there. There we go. Oh, to be fair, like Chun Li's throw range in Super Turbo was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> So he's not afraid to th do the throws. Uh, okay, so let's go to 657. Um, okay, Jason, blah, 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 mm -hmm. nothing. Okay, so let's go to 666, 657. Right there, we already got that one. And it's right here. Make sure I get it correct. 666, don't want to miss anything, any, any, any gold here. Uh, here we go. Yeah, there it is, there it is, there it is. The American Stick. So Phyllis has a big problem with American Sticks. Where is it? 666. Six, six. There's this number of the beast for you. 666. Six, six. Right here. Um, Phil says, I'm going to show you here. So low. race it. Phil says, <laughs> never on American... Yeah, so they said, Sorry. never on American Sticks. On PS2, sure. I suck monkey balls on U.S. cabs. So Phil is not a fan mm -hmm. of U.S. cabs, okay? He doesn't want to play on U.S. cabs. Fuck that shit, man. Uh, NKI says, arcade, PS2... DC, whatever. As long as it's not CCC2, 3DO, PC, or Game Boy Advance, I'm down. <coughs> Let's get this money. So that sounds to me like NKI is like, I'll play you however you want to be played. Any way yeah. you want to play. Come on. Yeah. Come at me. Any way you want to go, let's go. And what happens? Phil continues to bitch. Then I guess it's not happening. I guess it's not happening. Ugh. I no longer have a DC or a DC stick and converters lag. So that's that. Of course. Course. No idea why people refuse to play on the CCC2. Every console version of Street Fighter is pretty much equal ass, so it doesn't make a difference. I'm sure there'll be just as many complaints after Evo if they end up uh, end up using DC uh, as projected. There's just nothing that comes close Dreamcast? to relocate. I, I guess Dreamcast, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's, so there's nothing that could do. Uh, and, oh, shit, did I miss that link? Wait, there's a link. Oh, did I miss it? Don't worry. I'm sorry I'm scrolling up. I want to find it. There is a great... Clap back here, Tumba Tumba. Oh, okay, sorry, I I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. We're getting to it. We're getting to it. Don't jump ahead too much. Uh, so uh, uh, just recap. NKI said I'll play you in any way. Phil says though yeah. I I I want to play well, on CCC. What's CCC two by the way? What is that? What's I don't CCC2? know. Anyone know in chat what CCC two is? I have no clue what that is. But Phil wants to I'm play on CCC two. Something to do with the arcade board. Oh, okay. Because Capcom usually have a, a name of like you know uh, the, the, a way of naming their uh, uh, the boards inside the. The arcade cabinet. Oh, scientists coming in hot. Class Capcom Classics Collection Volume Two, or oh, Cre good. Credence, yeah, point. 
I like this option. Credence Clearwater Champion Edition 2. That could be that too. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> yeah. One of those two. Uh, yeah, the Capcom Classics <laughs> Collection. Yeah. Beautiful. There's a bunch of like arcade emulation games in there. So some of them are, I think, Super Turbo. You've got Ultra. There's um, some of the Alpha games as well, I think. Mm -hmm. So okay. yeah, probably that. Yeah. So there we go. But so they're you... arcade emulations rather than console versions. Mm -hmm. So it's like playing arcade. So there we go. Did you? And then K Ketz here says, responding to the ESP, said, did you ever read the links provided you in the other thread about the gratuitous input lag on CCC2? You were concerned about converter lag, yet this doesn't bother you. So it's it's confirmed Ooh, that there is there yeah, there is lag on there is, on the CCC2 version, right? And, and yeah, and there, but the, but you're concerned about converter lag. Why? They're the same thing, right? What's I mean, they both have lag, right? Um, so then NKI claps back. Get that ass fucked. Because, oh, look at those links. Oof. Yes, and we're going to them. Uh, no idea why people refuse to play on C2 because it has massive input lag. If you're too lazy to actually read text, here's the direct, <sighs> direct link to the vid. Uh, none of these links work, I checked. Uh, but but we, I thoroughly disagree. DC version is very good. PS1 version is okay. C2 is everything else garbage. If you don't want to play me for money, that's fine. But please don't make stuff up, especially when extensive testing has been done to prove to the contrary. Right, Lavinia, do you want us to start the podcast again for you? <laughs> That's exactly That's the best. what you would if get. You, this is a I great know. one. A great one. If you're too lazy to actually read text, here's the direct link to the thread. Motherfucker. To the vid, yeah. The vid, yeah. So let's get here's, to... Here's one for DSP React. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll play you for money, blah, blah, blah. Uh, DSP, of course, yeah. has to clap back. And is that it? Uh, and this the determinant organizer says NKI. At least people people sort of listen to you. Shirts and I figured out the input lag five minutes after playing the day it came out because we had Ed Steam Machine right next to the compare. But many months after Evo, everyone at laugh and we said it. You know, everyone rolls eyes, rolls mm -hmm. eyes, rolls eyes. Rolls eyes. Um, here we go. <laughs> oh my god! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you know, I oh, try god, not to. Going. You know what? I try not to be a dick. But people just love to put me in that position. Bro. <laughs> 2008. <laughs> you know, I try not to be a dick, but people just love to put me in that position. Aren't you the person who I praised me? I want to own top haters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, man. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. Aren't you the person mm. who praised every console version of Street Fighter pre-Evo and then shit all over them directly afterwards? When asked why the abysmally bad PS1 version of Street Fighter was used at Evo 2005 where supers don't even come out, the reply was, Enkai based play tested it and said it was great. Of course he got fifth. So Chun is probably really good in that version. Then fast forward to Evo 2006 where you were on stage demoing, demoing too. Not, no idea why you got the chance. Ooh, little clap here. Oof. No idea yeah, why you yeah, got that chance. Who are you to be doing like Demos of Capcom products. Cope, cope, yeah. cope. Yeah, yeah. And cope. you said it was excellent. The game came out that fall and was used at Evo, yet it took you until after it was used at Evo to find out that it had input lag? I said in another thread, and I'll repeat it since you obviously didn't read it. There was no console version of Street a Super Turbo that is good. They all have their subtle, and sometimes not so subtle, differences from the arcade version. Even emulators like GGPO have certain issues. It's inescapable. In fact... There are no console ports of games that are exactly the same as the arcade. All have noticeable differences. However, those communities have just collectively said, fuck it. We're only using one certain version and that's it. The problem is every year, some th someone like you speaks up and says, hey, this new version is better than all the others and that is what we should be using. And then everyone, everyone jumps on the bandwagon. Evo says, shit, we have to use what the players want. So this is weird to me because DSP <laughs> won based on... yeah. You got them choosing, on yeah. That that emu that one he's bitching about the PS version, yeah, yeah. It's is very much like very much like the, the air raid lord. I can tell by the way you're talking, you're jealous. Remember that <laughs> good call, <Carl> Ludwig. <laughs> oh god, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's. I'm not gonna read these fucking recaps, but the different versions of the same game back to back. Yeah, I'm sure it's easy to practice and get used to a game that's completely different every time you go to a tournament for it. You won Evo based on that, dude. He did win yeah. Evo based on that. It, by yeah. his own account, he says he practiced the game that no one else said. Everyone else said, fuck it, right? Remember that? Yeah. He said, and he said it was easy as well. He said he only did it for like, like a month or so, didn't he? Yeah. Before the tournament. It's, a, it's incredible. Bro. 
So when is someone going to speak up and call bullshit? My question, why do we listen to NKI and other people year after year instead of doing what makes, what makes plain sense? How about this one? I can guarantee that after Evo this year, people complain about the Dreamcast version of ST, dip switches or not, has problems. What should have fucking been done years ago was Evo putting their foot down saying, fuck you, we're using this one version not switching. It's in the best interest of Evo and the community and that's that. We can now practice on this one version and know exactly what to expect from now on without surprises and we can keep using the same equipment instead of buying totally new versions of the game every year. If you don't like it, don't come. Go fuck yourself. Thanks. All right. Very fair. Very, uh, very positive and, and meaningful. All right. But really, I mean, it's on Capcom who are, you know, milking their cash cow and putting yeah, yeah. different I mean, versions. They don't give a shit. I mean, that's, that's like their job. You know, it's their <laughs> stuff. So, you know, why wouldn't they want to flog it in as many versions as possible? Yeah, definitely. So, uh, yeah. so here we go. So, conclusion, NKI, although I'm sure that you have your research in the best interest of the community, it is not. So, imagine that. Imagine that. Someone putting in, s- s- in s- re- real research, right? I mean, he, he tested this shit out of, like, you know, checking out the, the frame rate and shit like that, you know, seeing the differences, lag, and shit like that. And this dude says, your research is not in the best interest of the community. Okay. Fair. That's very fair, dude. Anyways, sure you may have proved that there was some input lag, but now everyone who adopted that version for last year's Evo needs to be completely thrown it out. Get a, D- uh, get a DC with this dip switch save. Buy a, a Dreamcast stick that can use it because all converters add input lag, which just brings uh. back the problems. And then throw it all out, at, fucking out, after this Evo since they'll still be using this next year. Great idea. Thanks, buddy. How about this? The next time you have a... How about this? The next time you have a bright idea, keep it to yourself. This from Dark Side Phil. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Next time you have a bright idea, keep it to yourself. So yeah, how dare now... you want to like, <laughs> like, like advance the community by checking out all the different new versions of, of, of this game? You know, it's like you're fucking putting work. Just do it the one way, the way that I want on. Do it this way and and, and shut up. And don't every time the you have a bright version, bright ideas. Forget about your bright ideas. Uh, so and then the last paragraph here. Uh, so now to get this thread back on track, I again have to praise Jason Wilson for holding NWC every year and being a stickler about using arcade cabinets. The controls might be foreign to many, including me, but at least we're playing the actual version of the game that we know is correct. Someone needs to invent a cheaper version of a Jamba board so that we can hook up our ST boards to it with any version of a joystick we choose and use that at Evo. But until that happens, at least I know where to go once a year to play real ST. Okay. Then let's go to that. Let's make a quick field trip to the actual debate about Dreamcast versus arcade gameplay differences. Quick, the mini thread here that NKI that started. Like, like a lot of opinions from somebody who doesn't know what he's talking about. That's Absolutely. the sort of vibe I got from that. And let's look at how much work this NKI put into this. Let's put all, remember that shit that DSP just said? If you had any bright yeah. ideas, forget about them. Yeah. Watch NKI. Let's see, let's see how much NKI cares. Let's see how much NKI cares. So after this disaster of a thread <laughs> that's all based on DSP, I think the ST community deserves a clean, concise post detailing all the known and real differences between Arcade and Dreamcast. Anyway, here are the known differences. Not going to read them all. Uh, anyways, so just insane research, you know? Frame data, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dreamcast DP switches, blah, blah, blah. Does not mention DSP at all in this post, but, by the way. Like, just out of respect. Super Turbo is so messed up. I remember finding that video, and it shows that like the the, the game plays differently depending on what stage you're on. Oh wow, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, different stage. Yeah, yeah. Have, like more demands and things. Yeah, it's, some of those uh, yeah. some of those videos are really cool. Like I like I love those kind of uh, fucking like kind of details of different games. Like yeah, like you said, like some moves yeah, in certain break time. Down how broken they are. Yeah. And there's like sometimes like random hitboxes are a little off in certain moves, you know, that kind of shit. I love those videos. Yeah. Uh, yeah but anyways, yeah. of course, this is, let's see what DSP has to say something about this thread, don't you think? So a lot of people are saying like, I love ST, I don't care, blah, 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 blah. Watson chimes in here and says, my only gripe is that mm. the bat moves hurt. So he's explaining his, uh, you know, his, his, his thoughts are, there are big differences that do affect, they do affect the, the, the gameplay, right? Mm. Uh, but here we go. Here's our boy. Here's our boy. Two major gripes. The whole api- the whole Oh god, dude, that looks like four major gripes. Jesus. Oh god, I know. The whole character <laughs> seems skinny, but it doesn't affect gameplay is an opinion, not a fact. Uh for me, it does affect gameplay because having the characters be taller, I naturally think they are wider and should have longer reach. Okay. But that's you. Yes. That's you that's being you. wrong. So 
it's it, they seem skinny, but they don't affect gameplay. So that's just you can't adapt to that. Uh, because characters are taller, I have to get a wider instead of long reach. At C3 Casuals, I was regularly whiffing footsies and normals that I thought should be hitting because of the size difference. Any pro Street Fighter player who counts on footsies and spacing would have the same issues, unless they play no. this version for a few hours previous to adapt. No, no, they wouldn't. That's that's you. So it takes that's a few hours. Wrong. By the way. Even if you, let's say we believe it, Phil is saying you need a few hours to adapt. Okay, a few hours. <laughs> that's really really bad as well as an doesn't seem that like, bad, does it? <laughs> his 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 um critical thinking skills, yeah. The ability doesn't seem to adapt that fucking bad, man. Quite crucial, and it's just yeah, a few hours. hours. Come on. Oh, anyway, but I mean, like, it shouldn't. It, it's like not a thing most people would encounter. It's him. Like for me, he expects them to be wider because they're taller. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, they're uh, just taller. Width and like length are different dimensions. But NKI so... mentions. Gameplay differences, but not the logistical nightmare that is Dreamcast. First of all, getting a working Dreamcast is now a rare and costly process. That seems very strange to me in 2008. It's but maybe, yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, I, I don't think so. But then in the fact you need to get a memory card and somehow get the dip switch game save on, unless you want to beat the game 33 times. I know I don't. Then factor in that you need either a DC position. He's just bitching. He's just bitching. He's just mm. bitching. I'm not going to read all this technical. No, there is one of those. Ironically, there is one of those. Um. Like cash converter, cash generator, you know, like a second like shop. You go in and sell stuff, and then they resell uh -huh. it on. Um, <laughs> and they've got a Dreamcast joystick. Oh, there you <laughs> like go. I saw it last time I was there. So. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Finally, very few of the DC adapters actually work when you plug them the first time. Many you have to plug, unplug, wiggle, fuck with, etc. Until they finally work. My personal experience speaks. Oh my car. god! Oh my god! My personal experience <laughs> speaks volumes here. Are you serious? Uh huh. How, how can you say this statement? <laughs> My personal experience speaks volumes here. What? Like, I, I don't <laughs> care if you've got an, a, a different experience that is contrary <laughs> to what I'm saying. My personal experience speaks volumes here. What? I mean, I don't know. Why do you think the personal experience of the King of Hate is that significant? Dude, my personal experience speaks volumes here. It sounds like a... Like a it's there. Because Try, keep yeah. in mind, I said input lag and not one frame of input lag, as NKI suggests, because I have seen nothing to prove that it is only one frame. Yeah, so this dude making lists. I know that I've had input lag when yeah. I've been using a converter, i.e. I've done shit, but, you know, obviously lag is one of the things I'm going to blame because it's one of the things different from how I normally play. Oh, my a God. Converter. It must oh cause God. lag, therefore, you Incredible. know. Incredible. Now, you might say that these issues aren't differences from arcade, but you would be wrong. You would be wrong. When you play an arcade, when you on a console SD for that matter, you can pretty much just walk in and play. On DC, you have to deal with all those logistical issues before you can press start, which is one of the major well, reasons SD players think bullshit. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> what logistical issues? Like with any other version of console Super Turbo, you have to get that console and a game and a, a stick and a converter, just like you were complaining is... about needing to get the Dreamcast one. Yes, this is just someone that is so in their own world and thinks what they think is the facts, all right? And that's just, we know, we have so much proof of this since this point. But this is just what I think is fact. Like, that's what you said. I Keep in mind, I didn't notice four frames of input lag. Mm -hmm. My personal well, experience speaks not. volumes here. Well, that's like four <laughs> milliseconds. You, you, you barely recognize that as a, as a length of time. It, it, it's okay anyways uh now you say blah 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 blah. you can pretty much walk in and play blah 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 instead of previous version so sd players are calling bullshit that evo chose this for this this year instead of just a previous version again this is coming from someone that won evo based on this <laughs> and like it's odd because no one brought that up in this forum and like it's, i'm just like wondering why because like it seems like it'll be such an easy clapback right like dude you yeah, won yeah. st based yeah. on this so like what's that's why he's complaining because the Dreamcast version is different. He won because the PlayStation version is broken in certain ways. Yeah. Whereas the Dreamcast version is different. So he wouldn't be able to win that way. So he's got a shit on the Dreamcast version now. Be all like the so, PlayStation 1 version was better. The one where you don't have to worry about getting a PlayStation 1 in 2008. <laughs> you know, but a Dreamcast. Oh, rare. Gold <laughs> dust. You know? This, this thread has good intentions, as did mine. Yeah, did it? But unfortunately, I don't think it's going to help. How did, how did yours have good intentions? How did your thread have good intentions when you said, next time you have a good idea, keep it to yourself? Tell me how that's good intentions, Steve. How is that good intentions? 
It's not. No, it's, <laughs> it's just not. not. Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? This threat had good intentions, as did mine. He said, next time you have a good idea, keep it to yourself, bitch. But unfortunately, I don't think it's going to help because you're proving me wrong, mate, so shut up. <laughs> There aren't enough people actively playing DC vs. Street Fighter simply because it's not accessible for the masses, and a lot of people simply are going to Evo this year due to lower prizes and lack of new games. Okay. Uh, hopefully I'm wrong and people will post more constructive info, but it never happened in the other thread after I repeatedly asked for it. Okay. Right. Or this is the... NKI is not done. Please... Okay, we're first, let's get to the quote. For me, it does affect gameplay because having the characters be taller, I naturally think they're wider and, st and should have longer reach. Please stop posting misinformation. If you had bothered to click on the links in my original post, you would have known the characters are not taller. Additionally, I don't know how on earth you can perceive the characters being wider when in See? fact they are thinner. See? It's not just how, me. See? Yeah. How, <laughs> can you, how can anyone take you seriously when you miss basic, blatant things like this? <laughs> exactly. If they're taller, they're going to be thinner because they're being stretched out. Why would they be wider? NK Thank you. <laughs> Thank NK you, NKI. I NKI you. seems like a legend, the hero <laughs> of the episode so far. NKI mentions gameplay differences, but not the logistical nightmare that is DC Street Fighter. This thread is purely for discussion. Gameplay differences, not logistics, obviously. Great point, NKI. Why are you talking mm -hmm. about this shit? We're talking about the yeah, differences yeah. of gameplay. Most of your so-called logistical nightmares, such as attaining the save file and input lag converters, are not issues at all. And this has already been pointed out to you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Like, it's, it's <laughs> like we're not here to talk about actually getting a Dreamcast. We're just talking about the different versions. You know what Phil wants to yeah. do right now? You know what? You know, it looks like we got Eddie in the chat here. You know what, Leading. NKI? I've had yeah. enough. I've had enough. Yep. NKI is a known troll. I knew, they, I knew who they are. They always come back. They change their name. Do you reckon he went and snitched? That it was somebody else under a different account name. You know what? Got NKI. Drunk and told NKI, it wasn't him snitched. NKI, you know what? It's a known troll. I know his email. He's been here saying this stuff. Get that ass out of here. I'm tired of it. Dead Frog, thanks for making this thread, NKI. Yes, thank you for making my jet. Everyone is, everyone is just on NKI's side. That one single person is on uh, Phil's side. Uh, Zach, we the tournaments are run DCST, Northwest, everything's good. These guys are Evo. Yeah, yeah, look at this. We had Japanese players like Itazan and Yosuke playing on DC Street Fighter these tournaments. FYI, these guys are Evo champions. Mm -hmm. Champions. Yeah. Best console port out there, and people already started practicing on DC, so it's a lot to change now. Everyone's against Phil. Um, yeah. It's not everyone's against Phil. Uh, everyone's against Watson, actually. Because Watson, Watson brought up a simple, like, didn't bring up the same points as Phil, but said, hey, I uh, also agree that there's a lot of differences. This is what he's trying to say here. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Phil has to clap oh, back. And what does he do? Oh, what does he do? Oh, what does he line, do? The first Boys, line. Say it with me. Wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. Oh, God. <laughs> Did you ever see the episode of Scrubs where the guy sings that wrong, wrong, wrong song? I'm singing it right now. Uh. Hook DC Street Fighter up to a... A TV on one set of inputs. Hook up another console version of Street Fighter. I tested with uh, the CCC2, which uses the correct aspect, uh, arcade aspect ratio. To the other set of inputs. Get out a ruler. Measure how tall Ryu is on DC. Now measure how tall he is on CCC2. He's actually taller. <laughs> He's actually taller on and DC. And then don't forget to get the <laughs> circumference of the diameter of Ryu's. <laughs> Penis, you have to divide by pi. The girth, which is if you're looking yeah. length looking unto the girth, girth of you. yeah, <laughs> length unto girth. And I it's fucking pi. love that bit. It was pi, amazing. Pi is three point one four. So okay, <laughs> probably uh, one of the best moments on this whole fucking series. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, I gotta make it short of that. Actually, let me get short. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. I tested for multiple people who had come in, come in here and back me up. If you require me to do so, same with. Different height. <laughs> That's funny now. Same with different height. It's, it's not just the spray. I tested. The... I tested yeah, it in front of multiple people who I could have come in here and back me up. If you're me. some um, Billy 
Oh, what's he called? The guy from King of Kong who's been like really lying. Oh yeah, Billy. Billy. Uh, oh yeah. What's his name? Uh, Billy. God, Matt, 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 Mitchell, 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 Billy Mitchell, Billy Mitchell, Billy Mitchell. Yeah, yeah, thank you, yeah, yeah. yeah Billy Mitchell, <laughs> big ups Francisco, yeah, that's some serious, like, you know, I saw, I've, people saw me do this record on this day, and I can have them testify for you if you want, you know, <laughs> <laughs> also big ups to, uh, Hum If You Can't Sing Along and Walmart <laughs> Walnut, uh, if I missed you, sorry, if I missed anybody, I'm sorry, you know how it goes on this show, I got a concert, guys, I can't interact as much as the normal show, I'm reading the forums, you know, it's really tough, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're voice acting, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I'm not going to derail it, but the Chrono Trigger playthrough oh, might be the worst playthrough of, of at least 2023. That voice mm. acting is an endure. That is, that is a let's endure of the voice acting. It's not even, it, it's so cringe. It's, it's air raid lore levels of cringe. When he voice acts as Robo. Voice Robo. acts. Robo. Oh, oh God. God. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm done. And he pretends not to know what's going to happen. Oh my God. I can't handle it. I cannot handle it. But let's go. Uh, Your this name is, uh, is Chrono. <laughs> that is interesting. I cannot <laughs> so, handle it. We'll talk about that on Sunday more, but yeah, oh my God. Same, Anyways. Uh, same same goals. <laughs> yeah. It fucks with your head if you don't play the game for a bit and makes you feel like your, the, your limbs are short or the hitbox are shorter when in reality it's just a perspective issue because your character is taller on DC. No, I have, it's you. Yeah, it's... Okay. How I are no you misunderstanding that? I'm so, <laughs> it's like a basic visual thing. This dude wrote out, put work into this post, man. Oh, NKI. God. And he's saying it, it's it doesn't make sense because I measured it with my ruler. I it's I, it's a, it's a callback to I, I've you know uh, Ch- uh Adam said I didn't have my bills on that paper. Well, I stole the paper right here. Hang on, I'll get it. What this is, I've realized, <laughs> is Bill doesn't understand resolutions at this point, so the different versions might be being displayed at different resolutions. So to Bill, it looks like it's being stretched out because it's a, you know, a slightly bigger resolution. Ugh, That's okay. not like maybe the, the impression that I'm getting, because I'm assuming there's a difference between the, the resolution a PlayStation puts out and the resolution a Dreamcast puts out. So, <laughs> this, ho ho! You know, <laughs> maybe. I don't oh. know. I have no reason to lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I have no reason to lie. <laughs> that hero, just in general. <laughs> Why would I try to say something about a game that isn't true when fuck with people reading this thread pre-Evo, wanting to know differences oh in gameplay? Oh my god, does this ever end? Are you kidding me? This would be That would be pretty dick of me. Okay, Phil. I think that's why. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's why. That's a pretty good reason. Why would I want to sabotage the competition before I get to Evo? Why would I want to spread misinformation before I fight a bunch of the people reading this at Evo? Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's get N- NKI is coming back. <laughs> you may want to try using the actual arcade board, not CCC2. I did this exact same test using arcade and DC and ran the test both through my TV and through my TV card on my computer. The characters were exactly the same height, slightly thinner on DC, but same height as you can see here. I'm thinking CCC2 does not output the right resolution. I'll test when I get home. Look at this oh, NKI. Yeah, the, Look yep. at NKI. Even willing. To, to say, okay, I'll, I'll put that to test. You know All what? Right. I'll check it for you. I'll check it for you. Uh, this is, um, I believe this is Phil. I don't, any pro Street mm. Fighters at this one? Any pro, any pro, any pro? Oh, no, this is a call. This is a, okay, yeah. This is the last post of almost the whole thread. This is a nice one. Okay. He's okay. that way back callback to where it was, right? Way back. Here we go. Uh, then play it, any pro Street Fighter who counts on footsies and space would have the same issues, unless they played this version for a few hours previous to adapt. Then play it for a few hours and adapt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Then well, play it yeah. for a few hours and adapt. How about that? Right? Why don't you yeah. could try that? You know, it, it might, it might that do something. Game that you love playing. <laughs> I want to play it. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, here we go. Uh, you're going to Evo, so it'd probably be good to practice on the Evo format, right? Again, going after Phil. Either you're yeah. the biggest idiot I've ever encountered, or you're full of shit. <laughs> I play Marvel on the Total Control Plus Converter with the Seattle crew regularly. For near eight hours straight every day, other Friday, none of us have problems with input lag when moving back and forth between Preppy's two arcade cabinets and the DC setups all night long. Back and forth, no need to adapt. Mm-hmm. Dark Side Phil... 
The EMS Total Control Plus adapters don't have this problem, except maybe one a thousand times. What happens? It takes one unplug and replug to fix it. This is not an issue. Maybe you have to unplug wiggle fuck with etc until they finally work yeah <laughs> like that's true of all like cable connections mm -hmm. you know how many times have you tried to put in a usb stick or something it's not gone in so you turn it around trying to put it in again <laughs> it's not gone in so you turn it around and it goes in and you're left questioning how reality works it happens and, you know and, and this is the best <laughs> Is anyone else just sick of DSP spewing disinformation in his li little childish tantrum over Evo being on PC just because he wants to practice on a console and game he already oh, has? Is. Get there it is. fucked. There it is. There you go. Because okay. he's like, I've already got this one, so I want to spread misinformation about it, so he's all, you know, you all shit. That is exactly, exactly it. That's all this is about is DSP wants to keep playing on his little construct console he has at home already, doesn't want to practice. Yeah. There we go. That's that post it. underneath is also... Um, We're not done. DC's nice cost less back. than 50 but As you can see, no one on this thread is joining his side. Not a single mm. person. Not one. DC's cost less than 50 bucks, and even the most expensive one there is only 66 bucks because it comes with a fuckload of accessories. Even the cheap ones come with various games, controllers, and accessories. This was taken at the same time as this post, and there were tw 222 auctions for systems. 222 auctions, you motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Even under that. <laughs> Bought a working Dreamcast last week for $15 on eBay. Shipped. 99 cents plus shipping. It was not expensive, DSP. $15 on eBay. $15 on eBay. It was not expensive, DSP. I'm going to close this because people stop insulting each other and be reasonable in their debates. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> great info I wonder this if you is, got like, mod ship uh, on the King of Hate forum yeah uh, this is so <laughs> this this I disagree I know you guys can't see it's at the very bottom of the screen so I can't show you but this this is the the, mod, the, the, the moderator I guess says like great info yeah. NKI but you knew this was gonna happen if you need info add it PM me and I'll do a bump but this shit is staying closed people people insulting each other there's not people insulting each other here that's there's fail. there's one yeah one person saying bullshit and other people saying like hey that's bullshit I, I really disagree mm -hmm. with that mod movement there uh, yeah, yeah. And I will I will send the email. Do you reckon he bitch to them? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so let's get back to our... Uh... He went and snitched to the mod, didn't he? That's why oh, that's closed. I, probably. It could be. It could fucking be. All right, so let's get... I, this would, is... I would put money on that. Um, so then the... a money match. I put money on it. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee it was, yeah. Uh, is the did someone try to do a, a vision that didn't work? Let me know. I think the vision should be working, but if they don't work, let me know. Uh, the Dream TR. This is again a reminder. We're back on the main thread now. Uh, this is the the, the tournament organizer, and uh, he's saying the plan is next year to have PC PS adapters on all the arcade tourney cabinets. That way, there is no issue with anyone having problems with sticks, buttons, etc., and everyone is happy. Okay, so as a dream term, tournament organizer, trying to keep it civil, right? Just kind of hey, just yep. chill out. Next year, we're gonna do this. Let's just chill. You know what I'm saying? Let's not let's not yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, so that's what tournament organizer's job is is to do. Uh, so let's go down. We're gonna go a little bit further down. I do feel like here. that one's DSP though. That system one down there. Oh, which one? oh after that one? Let me check it. It was two seven two six 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 one. We can check that quickly. You think the one under it was? Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's Phil's book. Under that system one, I'll play anyone for. Oh yes, 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 yes. You're right. So, so thank you so much, Steve. This is I'll play anyone for drinks. There's a liquor store about a block away from Red Roof Inn that we raided last year. Prices were decent too. Yeah, Keep that like in your mind. Phil. I didn't see that my first uh, my first pass, and that's gonna come up later. So good, <laughs> good, good, good. Thank you, Steve. All right, so seven sixteen. We're gonna go to um, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. right here. <laughs> Should be interesting. New blood playing offline arcade. LOL. I can see the yelling about sticks already. <laughs> <laughs> so not a direct dig at Phil, but it could be. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. So let's move on. I see Jen is in the house. So it looks like they're working. Let's go to 740. And we are not done, my friends. We are not far from done on this, this odyssey of a post here. Um, uh, here we go. NKI says, I'm trying to make sure you can see it because Jen is blocking mm -hmm. now. Uh, DSP says, Dream, Saber, Justin Wong, anybody else want to make this tourney more interesting? Let's throw some cash around. Uh, NKI uh, yeah. is NKI saying, is listen, calling. Mm -hmm. hey, DSP, I'm down. I'll play anybody. Justin Wong. You know, I'll do it. Whatever you yep. want. Bring it up. Bring it up. Let's do it. Let's do this. And that, you know, that's cool. Uh, 
So there we go. Let's go down to seven seven. No no response from Phil on that, by the way. Uh to that money match request. Not at least not yet. Um here we go. And system one says, um, DSP, this person's system one, I can't tell who this is, but we all know it's not Phil. Oh, it's it's no ho no ho ho. Not that we know who that is, but there we go. He says, DSP, play NK on arcade, you bum. Jeez. PS, come practice in the city sometime. Right? So hey, play our play NK on arcade. And come practice in the city if you want practice, right? You say there's no competition. This person is saying in the city there is competition. At least it's one person's opinion, mm -hmm. right? It's like, yeah, you know, come on down. Price is right. Yeah, just, just <laughs> give it a shot. All right. <laughs> yeah. But Phil, of course, anyone that mentions him gets a clap bag. You mm -hmm. know that shit. Mm -hmm. So let's go down. This is a good one. So let's go down seven seven three. Takes a while for Phil to this get back. This guy's called No Ho Ho. Yeah, No Ho Ho. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, strap in, boys. Oh my god. Would you play a real game of softball with a wiffle ball bat? We've done this. This this we got this recently. <laughs> would after, you uh, the the <laughs> master rank N. Would this you is play like turning up to a wiffle ball game <laughs> yeah. with a baseball bat, wasn't it? It's... He he yes, he literally said this. Yeah. Would you play tennis with a ping pong paddle? Would you? Who among us? This is like a presidential address. <laughs> Who, among Who among us, us <laughs> would race in a car that was standard if you don't know how? That's what it's like playing on American Controls for me. Dude. I haven't done it more than three or four times in the past three years, and I suck at it. So why would I play someone for money when I know I'm going to miss the vast majority of things I'm trying to do? That's just called being stupid. That's, That's why you also... give us three. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You've got more than one match. That's also the reason that I don't go to CF. Not only is it controls I'm not used to, but it's a tiny cramped cab, and the controls barely work. Fuck that arcade. So now we get the <laughs> real reason. Remember Phil said earlier in this very thread there's no competition, and he can't find anyone to play? Well, the real reason comes out it's a tiny cramped cab, and the controls barely work, of course. Mm-hmm. We're not done, boys. <laughs> Let me make something perfectly clear. Side tournaments are just that. Side tournaments. If you are up in an official tournament and you were called for the middle of a game or a side to event, you had better put down the fuck controller and come running to the official game. <laughs> There is zero tolerance for people. This is this is incredible. This is like I, I don't know what to call this. Just like high, you know, I'm I'm a god, I'm a gaming god, OG. Phil, you know, come on, man. Isn't this how we got where am I playing? You still haven't told me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because he was like having his shit or something, and he was like, uh -huh. "Yep." So he's oh, saying, man. "You better put down the fucking control and come running to the official game." This is zero tolerance. There is zero tolerance for people who hold up official game for twenty minutes because they're playing some oh, bullshit on oh, a laptop. No, no we've done this before as well, haven't we? Where he was like mad that um, people were late, and he yes, got late. shifted down a down. For it. Yeah, I think he can't he handle like, that. Yes. Yeah. You're right. Like, You're oh, right. it was just an eager turn up two hours late. But, you know, if I'm five minutes, two minutes. <laughs> so there we go. Um, so we keep going here. Don't worry. We're not done by any means. There is zero tolerance people who hold up official games, blah, blah, blah. It's a courtesy that you were even allowed to hold <laughs> side events. It's a courtesy. All right? It's a courtesy. Yeah. You're lucky they let you play fighting games at this fighting game tournament event. And you should treat the situation exactly like that. Be grateful that you're even allowed to be there playing that piece of crap. And get the fuck off when you are called for an official tournament game. Holy. Jesus okay, Christ, yeah. man. He's and this is called about CVS too, by the way. Yeah. I mean... Right? Just bitching on other people's games that for no reason at all. For no reason at all. He loves doing that. We tar we, like, how many Guilty Gear? If you play Guilty Gear, you are absolutely homosexual. Like, you cannot uh -huh. resist penis, apparently. Uh, to Phil, of course. Not, I'm not, oh, I'm not saying... speaking of. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Let's go. As I strongly advise that everyone take a look at the times of the very first post in this thread, I am particularly addressing the Guilty Gear, Marvel, and Smash players. Okay, so Guilty Gear, Marvel, and Smash players. You guys are assholes. 11 a.m. means 11 a.m. These events will start at that time, whether you like it or not, and sign-ups begin one hour prior to the event. If you walk in at 12 or 1, expect to get in, be prepared to, to be told to go fuck yourself or to face <laughs> the best player in the tournament as your first round match. Zero tolerance, you lazy fucks. <laughs> what the hell, man? 
means 11 a.m. There's the this, man who rolls out of bed at half ten. This is unbelievable. Give him and I'm, a spoiler alert, by the way. Uh, I, I might have skipped it, but Phil has now been has has joined. I can't tell how, but for some reason he's joined the crew of kind of the managers of this tournament, and that's why we're getting this power trip. By the way, oh, he is now on the managers, right? But think about how he's. Think about how you're treating people. How do you, this is not how to treat. Is, this is not how you conduct yourself and address the people that are going to be coming to your tournament and participating, is it? It's you, T.O., you, yeah, you T.O., don't, yeah. You don't, like, write like this. You, you're not, this is, I can't even understand this. And I don't, Dream TR needs to step the fuck up in the next post. We're going to see if he does. Uh, but one final thing. Last year, there were a couple of instances of people trying to complain and talk shit about how the event was being run. I personally witnessed someone become a five-year-old and try to start something with Jason Wilson in front of me. If you don't like it, don't come or just leave. Ah, oh, man! If if you don't if you don't play me, you're my bitch forever. Mm-hmm. If you do, yep. nobody cares yep. that you were taking a forty-minute shit and missed your match. Oh, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> how about that meeting with the uh, with the respect to pack? What happened there? What about that forty-minute yeah. shit? Uh, oh, nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares that you don't like the controls something is being played on. And nobody dude, cares dude, that someone dude. sneezed next to you during the match and you spazzed out. Go ahead. Dude, nobody cares that you don't like the controls something is being played on. From the man who's just been bitching about American controls and adapters and yes, Dreamcasts. This is why my mind was blown. My mind was blown. This is in the same thread as this he is the was same bitching. This the same thread. No way. Yeah. It is. I thought Guys, he was swapping listen. between tabs. This is the yeah, same yeah. thread. No, no, listen, remember, this This is the timeline of those threads, right? We started with the thread yeah, about yeah, yeah. N- NKI saying some stuff, and NKI smartly said, you know what? I'm going to go to a different thread on this. Go to yeah. a different oh, thread. Yeah, yeah, this is, yeah. But, yeah. And yeah, now yeah, we're yeah. back to the main oh. one. Now we're back to the main one. Okay, we're back to the main thread. <laughs> and Phil says this. It's incredible. It, it's it's retcon of a, a, the, in the same threads. Mm-hmm. You earlier, you were bitching about controls more than anyone, so much so that they had to make a new thread for you. That guy that I'm living with is gonna <laughs> yell at me. Oh God! But and nobody then we cares. Get this. Oh my God! And okay, but now Phil gets an ounce of power, and which is what happens. Mm-hmm. Oof, man! All right, uh, nobody ca- uh, nobody's scared. I don't get that. Nobody cares. Someone sneezed next to you during your match, and you spazzed out. You will not get your money back if you pay for something and then decide not to play it. Grow the fuck up or get the fuck out, period. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense, right? Makes sense. The tourney administrators are all grumpy old men who have heard pretty much every complaint excuse possible and they do not care. <laughs> so whiny bitches, prepare for disappointment. <laughs> Who's the whiniest bitch in this whole site? I was going to say this thread, but that's not even true. Who's the one he's bitch on this whole site? (laughs) I love that that's the sentence that ends that three paragraph post about people being late. (laughs) It's just like the cherry on top in it. (laughs) All right. So Dream Dream TR is the tournament organizer. My friend, you have a chance here. Are you going to stand up Mm. for shit or what? Mm. So after reading the above, it's a fair assessment to please be on time to your matches. Dream TR, I guess that's his idea of damage control saying like, all right, DSP went far there. So I'm doing this. Everyone should be prepared and not show up you about what's going on. This, this is your first tournament. Welcome. Be prepared to wait a while before between certain matches. There are a ton of people. Blah, blah, blah. Fair response. Yeah, fair response. Although that was quite an amusing you one. Could, yeah, you could piss. <laughs> you could push it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mystery this, director sounds like a jerk. <laughs> this this <laughs> mystery director sounds like a jerk drunk with DQing power. Looking forward to Jet Fee coming out of retirement. Hi, Phil. Yeah, definitely. This is a between definitely. Between two green emojis. Nagata... Between two green. <laughs> hey. Nagata the Lock. <laughs> Two, you are correct. This is someone drunk with power. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. What is that in centimeters, Ricky Richard? That's a great question. I appreciate that question. <laughs> and I saw another great one, too. Hang on. I want to give you credit, because that was a great one. Yeah. Red, Red Keld, give Phil an inch, and he'll tell you about his girth. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great one, man. You guys that are awesome. Good. These are fun, man. That this, one was good. this is so fun. I'm going to be honest, man. No one has more fun of these than me. <laughs> but let's keep going. We're not. We're far from done. 
Uh, this is uh, Dark Side Phil was talking about the remember the if you don't remember about five minutes ago we got to the ping pong and the softball uh, analogies. Yep. Remember that, the Steve? Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Just yep. want to jog everyone's memory there. Uh, he yeah. says I've been playing Street Fighter that cabinet for a good and 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 uh, for a good while, and those are all, the only American sticks in all of CF that respond well. So he's saying actually no, they are good, right? Those yep. those ones you're bitched about are actually good. Here's Phil's clap back. That cabinet is unplayable. It's small enough as it is. Fighters aren't supposed to be put in that type of cabinet, but they insist on putting it next to games like DDR, which gives you even less space to play on. In addition, Midwest is the only tournament that uses arcades. So what's the point of playing on arcade besides that? Now we have another excuse coming out out of nowhere. Wait, Rand do you think this is why he hates DDR? <laughs> that could be. Good, good call. Good pull. <laughs> the amount of times I've been trying to play as like Blanca or Guile or something, and someone's <laughs> bopped me in the head because they were like, trying to get the left. Thing so, on the floor. It's funny how Phil <laughs> says, like, the reason I don't do this is this, and then the, then the actual reasons come out later, right? So yeah. we started with... During the moan, yeah. Yeah. First was the control suck, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. But now he says... No, first playable. was the dimensions. Oh, you're right. It? Dimensions first suck. Yeah, dimensions dimension suck. suck. Yeah. Now the cabinet's unplayable because it's small. Uh, now it's because they're next to DDR. That's a, that's a, that's a, long, that's a long walk, right? We, we started with something else, and now we ended up with it's too close to DDR. Okay. All right. That's also, fair. it means you get banging tunes to listen to while you're playing, so. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so here you go. DS says, well, Rand, it's not a showcase cab. I can assure you it's not next to DDR machine anymore. It's actually in a more playable area. Oh, so there you go. It was at one point at least, but. Dream TR, the, the tournament director, the fellow tournament director, that with with uh, says DSP, just play it. You used to play on arcade sticks <laughs> that were US before. <laughs> Heck, I wish I had a place here with any. Look at this. Look at this. This is what pissed me off, man. These this people mm. right here, man, is a real person. I don't give a shit about fighting games, but I can see right now this person cares about fighting games and he cares about the community. And he says DSP, just play it. You used to play on arcade sticks that were US before. Heck, I wish I had a place here with anyone playing anything. Let alone Super Turbo. Though I know it might be an hour away, at least it's something. That's someone with fucking passion. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's someone that cares. Yeah. 2008, arcades are basically dead in America. Yeah. Very, very rare. So this guy's just like, look, do you know how far I have to drive to get a fucking work? Anything. Cabinet, you know, anything. Do yeah. This dude's like, just... over here. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing by 2008. Even the fucking bowling alley where me and my mate used to play Time Crisis is gone. Yeah, you know, it's, so, and this dude, man, yeah. is passion coming out and saying, you know what, just play it, dude. People are dying to play on anything. And what does Phil do? What does Phil do? Bitch about it. Bitch about how mm -hmm. this and this, the controls are too small. This is just, that. that's like, this is why this is how you don't play as we're created. Because it's just, it makes you feel angry because of how other people that Phil claims to be like are doing it in the right way. When someone else yeah. that really cares about community and is doing something for community and someone else is is once is pretending to be a part of this community and being a positive part of this community, except pretends to care, but then just bitched about it and throws it all away. You know, that's that's the thing. It's just that that does piss you off. That does, it, you know, it's whatever. But just like, come on, man, this dude and, and Dream T R, you should be working with this T O, whatever. But anyways, let's go. T, uh, Phil has to claps back to his fellow, you know, the person that I guess hired him to be the tournament organizer now. Here we go. You really don't know how bad it. You really don't know how bad it is, dude. So shut up, all right? You don't know how bad it is. Imagine being a sardine. Oh, we get more analogies. This is analogy side Phil tonight. Mm -hmm. Imagine being a sardine inside of a sardine, uh, inside of a sardine can, trying to play Super Turbo in a tiny cab with iffy controls and all kinds of shit going on around you. <laughs> That's DDR, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All kinds of shit going around you. Yeah, DDR is nuts. I don't know if you've seen it. You just run back and forth. You go crazy, dude. It's nuts. So you just stump left, <laughs> right, bow and about. Because DDR was awesome. DDR was yeah. great. I loved it. Not a lot of movement in DDR, to be clear. You you are just stepping fun. forward and back. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know how that affects a fighting game next to it, but all right, whatever. Uh, anyways, I don't that, think it would affect it that much, surely. You know, it, it's it's there, but you know. Anyways. Uh, last time I was there, there was a dancing game to the left. <laughs> dancing game. Why do you just say DDR? It's so odd. All right, there's a dancing game to the left where people literally would jump off and smash into you. Let alone, you there couldn't a, hear a... There was a, um, a, a, a guitar game where people would play music, and it was really loud. 
here we go. Let alone you couldn't hear a fucking thing going on in Stripper Turbo. Then you try to play XXF and the buttons are broken. You try to play Third Strike and one size joystick is twitchy. Yeah. When you lose once to any of those factors, instead of being a good competition, which really doesn't exist there besides Marvel's Capcom 2, you want to destroy the cabinet with a sledgehammer. Fuck. See ya. <laughs> and that is that arcade. The name of that arcade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, I mean, I mean, you know, excuse side Phil. Of course, we all know, we know, all know, love that. Sabine comes back here, claps back to Phil. Seeing how it's my home arcade, I have no problem playing Street Super Turbo in that cabinet. I find it kind of hard to have any sympathy, especially considering you've been playing at that at the break for years. Man up! By the way, <laughs> hi Phil. It's been a while. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the brake cabs aren't tiny, but now we hijack the thread with my CF. Yeah, but now we've hijacked the thread with my CF hate. Yeah, that's we. something you, we re we re we've done that. <laughs> Dream TR fellow tournament organizer DSP man up, like Sabine says. Seriously though, you don't know what small is till you played the 90, 19 inch one I put at the arcade out here in Tennessee. That game makes five dollars a week. Seriously, again. Oh, it's Arturo. Wow. So that's a name. Is it? Oh, right. Okay. Big ups. Is that true? I, I believe you for sure, but it's, I've never heard that before, but I definitely, that, that's true. It's awesome. Um, this game makes $5 a week. Seriously. Oh, big ups, Nino. You're right. You get full credit for that, then, Nino. That is, that is Arturo. So there you go. Arturo's chiming in. Uh, so a, another instance of Dream TR being a fucking legend. You know, putting a game out there, yeah. it's a 19 inch thing. It makes $5 a week. And uh, in his arcade, he's the arcade owner, I think. And, uh, you know, doing it for 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 what you know mm -hmm. uh so sage comes in nice i don't know video. why and this is our first defensive fill i uh, see if hate aside the man just doesn't want to put money on the line on something he doesn't feel comfortable playing on and everyone trying to pressure him just so he can accept the money matches so sage is thinking people are doing this because they just want money matches <laughs> which is a thought i'm not going to say it's a the correct thought but it's a thought you know what i mean mm-hmm you know, it could be that people want money from Phil playing in his, you know, playing in the I mean, lesser yeah. cabinet. But, you know, you know, you know. It, it, <laughs> would, it would explain why he got, like, a bunch of offers for money matches when, you know, Justin Wong was struggling to get any. People were like, oh, it's Phil. Easy money. Yeah. I, yeah. I promise we're going to get back to Justin Wong, by the way. Again, like I said in the beginning, <laughs> he's not very interesting on these forums. We are going to listen to a podcast with him on it, though, and DSP on it together. So just stay tuned for that. But Deceptive Crown, big ups, man, for the raid. I had a, oh, my God. So I had an awesome, I'm working on an awesome raid thing, but mm -hmm. of course it wasn't ready yet. And then Decepticon's a legend and raids me. Not ready yet though. It'll come someday. Uh, but here we go. Let's keep moving on, moving on and moving on. Let's go to uh, just, just play dude. Basically everyone's saying, just play, just play, just play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let's, let's, uh, let's go to 796 here. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And let's go here. We, and this is Arturo again. Now I know it's Arturo because the mm -hmm. legends in the chat here. Uh, this turning was super epic hype. I mean, of course, I'm going to be playing Street Fighter with the rest of the cranky old men in wheelchairs by the arcade cabinet. He's talking about DSP in that one, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Arcana is equally as important for me, it's, if not more so. And seeing as some of the Westport spreads Arcana, this should be a bomb side tourney. Oh, bomb side tourney. Well, remember, Ar Arturo, you know what Phil said about side tourney. Remember the rules, Steve? Yeah, yeah. If yep. your game, it's 11 o'clock. If you go there a second after 11 o'clock, you get that ass banned, motherfucker. I don't give a shit who you are. Let's see if, let's see if Phil keeps that same, uh, that same rapport up here. Uh, just everyone needs to keep Also, don't go shopping. Just oh, don't, oh, in general, don't go shopping. It's do only donuts are allowed. <laughs> only donuts. Just, just everyone needs to keep in mind, especially since this is on Saturday, that Dreams TR official tournaments will take president over any matches. So this keep moving along, blah, blah, blah. Hope, uh, hope yeah, people he will show up that kind of heart by the look of it, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So, but seriously, hope people will show up and support, even give a huge crowd around Arcana uh, and Melty Blood, too. Uh, that's a new, that's a, mm. a new game, a, a game, a game back then that was new, of course. So, I'm trying mm. to make these games big in the US. Anyone from the Midwest or out of state want to money match me in Arcana? So, again, another money match uh, ask here. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's our boy. He makes an appearance here. This is our boy. Of course, you see the bullet points. When you see bullet points, it's about a 75% chance we're talking about DSP. Maybe even higher, actually. But here we go. <laughs> bullet point side fill. Just at a point of reference, uh, keep in... Oh, yeah. just oh, This right here. Just for old time's sake, when Evo switched to console for the first time, check out some of the poet posts for them and some of the posts now. So that that's the tournament organizer post that. And mm -hmm. it's just... Uh, oh, man. 
when EVO switched to console, it people act like the sky was falling. It was this is gonna kill Evo. It's dead. If you go to consoles, <laughs> it's gonna be it's over. I mean, it's just the end of the world. That a lot of people thought that. By the way, just for reference, that, to that be they fair, thought, a lot of people thought that about Phil when the incident happened. Uh, it definitely, definitely, so, definitely, definitely. So, and know, now can't really blame him. Evo is bigger than ever now, just so you know. But there you go. Just as a point of reference, keep in mind that back then a lot of things were very, very different. Phil is saying this because he was also mm-hmm. on the team of. If Evo switches to console, it will de- be dead. Like if they do that, it will be dead. It is over. Mm-hmm. If it was one of the, in that camp, so he's he's gonna have to explain away his uh, thoughts from that uh, he, for, long ago thread. Now, not enough time to go through that. It's super long. Maybe someday, but there we go. This is a point of reference. Keep in mind that back then a lot of things were very different. There was no standard version of the game before tournament play. Nobody knew what version of the game to play on console, and they had differences. Very few people owned tournament where the joysticks. And lots of arcade pro gamers had to go out and invest in something that they would ultimately play, would play worse on. There was some discussion on how you could play with your joystick that wasn't attached to a cab. Remember the days of Brahim He smashing the living shit out of the co- controls to distract you during a game. Controls to distract you during the game. Understandably, there was concern. Also, I was a shitty Marvel player back then and hadn't really broken out into other games. So I really had no point of reference besides my arcade Marvel's Capcom 2 experience. In retrospect, it was moving to consoles that allowed me to practice and become as good as I am today at multiple games. There hasn't been an ST cabinet in Connecticut since the 90s. So just imagine what would have happened there if not for consoles. Movie consoles was a good decision, but nobody could see that at the time besides Evo staff. There we go. So now, now it's so odd how the, we're, the, we're changing so many opinions in one thread. So remember he was bitching about the different versions here, and now we're saying like consoles is the best version. I guess he just wants the, the, the console version he likes, I guess. Uh, but yeah, now this the console tournament's, version yeah. was what he won on. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Now he wants this. This Crucial tournament's running arcade. Piece of information there. Yeah, exactly. And this <clears throat> this one is being run on arcade. And of course, he doesn't like that because it's on consoles. Now it's a smart idea. All right, here we go. Uh, this is a uh, that, that's a a fair take here from Phil. By the way, this is not a really insane take in any way. It's just a you know, it's fine. Whatever. Um, let's go to uh, another tournament tournament organizer versus tournament organizer uh, battle here. Uh, this is a bullet point that's not Phil. So there we go. Uh, dis- point one: There's no standard version of a game. Disagree on point one. <laughs> there, he said he explains why he disagreed on point two. Point number two: I disagree on this as well. <laughs> so we have two disagreements there. <laughs> <laughs> Mass sticks have been around for years, and I would definitely deem these tournament worthy. Blah blah blah. I think my business gripe is that the majority of console players do not see why our current players can't adjust as well to console, but they themselves prefer their own sticks and complain about not being able to have ample room when they play, etc. It goes both ways, and it seems the argument will never end. I need to stand when I play, and the stick needs to be on a stable surface, so I'm 100% screwed unless I bring a custom arcade itself. Mm-hmm. It's the easy thing about playing uh, with a pad. At least you just turn up and sit down. Yep. So, yeah, if you're used to playing a certain way, it might be difficult. It could, yeah, <laughs> definitely. I mean, I get, I get, I get yeah, all yeah. sides, right? I get all sides, right? Yeah. And this person says, like, now, so, now to say this about the future, you really need to sit down and think about what you're saying. How anyone can think about sitting on floor chairs with sticks and lapsed legs holding sticks down on AV 20-inch TVs is more futuristic than nice RGB-style cabinet standing and sitting on stools is beyond me. The arcade, per se, is not dead. It's alive and well, just in different formats. Uh, so this person is, this is a, a arcade, uh, let's see, what, what should I say, how do we call this? Arcade apologist. He wants the arcade to mm-hmm. continue on. Because he himself owns an arcade, so I can kind of understand why that's coming from. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so unfortunately, history would, would maybe biased. History would prove this person incorrect, but you know, it, it's it's fine. Uh, we're yeah. gonna we need our hit the Bible sound effect. Oh, Whoever has I that, that might have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> hit the Bible sound. Isn't effect. it Ode to Fortuna? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we need. I need that button. I do yeah. have a button here. I could do. Justin Wong, I just oh, want to check. Joy, that's what I was thinking. Of. What does fourth, fourth place get again? What does it get, Justin? Fourth place doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. I wasn't sure about that. Let's get this Phil's uh, post here. I grew up in the 90s and was there since day one when Street Fighter 2 was released. So I know exactly what you were saying. Things today aren't like they used to be. Things aren't <laughs> the way they were before. Uh, the, way, the whole social gaming scene that exists in arcades is pretty much dead. It's only at t- small places like TGA or CF that you get to see that again. I'm sure there are more, but I'm speaking of the New England area. I have shitloads of fun every time I go to TGA because it's just an experience you can only get out inside of an arcade, even though the vast majority of arcades are dead. I feel like the culture itself is still alive and well inside people that were around during that era. That's oddly wistful <laughs> that's and nostalgic. I, 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 I quite like that. 
Yes, yes. Like, but it's you know what's odd is because Phil is taking this stance because it's a, a with the term organizer. Yeah, because he's in with that group now. He has to be shown to be like on their side and like I know what I'm talking about because so, you know, you've let me be like a, a, a TO as well. The moment I got that sniffer power, I started going on about being there on time. Mm-hmm, I'm trying mm-hmm. to stay in on this group. You, you got know? that right. Yeah, yeah, you got yeah. that right. Uh, I also agree with you that people were. I, I I also agree with you that people were experts on arcade, not so good at console. Blah blah. It's kind of funny for me because when I started to take Street Fighter seriously around that Marvel's Capcom One era, I only played on arcade console was the afterthought until maybe one or two Wait, years I ago. You just- I Go thought ahead. he said, like, if it weren't for consoles, you wouldn't have got into Super Turbo. It's so hard to keep up. It's so hard to keep up with what his opinions are on things. You know, I don't know. It's, it goes back and forth so much. Uh, but he, now here we are in 2008, and I can say that I'm way better on console games than ST3 Fighter. Blah, blah. Then again, when I play on TGA on Japanese controls, I seem to do fine. Over, our first Capcom 2 game now sunks monkey ass. Thanks for that. Great joke. What, what, would it have been better if I stayed playing arcade controls diligently? Who knows? When I think about this, though, I think about some of the OG players who were almost unstoppable in the 90s. But then all of a sudden started losing when things went over to console. I actually get pissed off when I see people like Vaya and Watson losing on console and then getting upset. Let's face it. I will never get to play them on an even playing field because I suck on arcade controls. And they're not used to console. You can argue that we are actually playing two completely separate games. Because Wait. in my opinion, we are. What the no, statement you just, is... You, <laughs> dude, you're controlling the same game differently. You're not... This, contr- this statement is very funny for me. This, this hits... It, you could argue that we are actually playing two completely separate games because... <laughs> that because, right? That because. Because, in my opinion, we are. Yeah. So I want to read... I want to, to... This is very nitpicky. But if you're, okay, you, cool. if you're on the scrolls, you like nitpicky. I want to re- re- restructure the sentence to make it mo- the most insane way possible, but it's definitely what he's trying to say. So, because in my opinion, uh, because in my opinion, we are playing com- two completely separate different, different games, you can argue that we are actually playing two completely separate games. <laughs> That's what he's saying, right? I'm understanding See, that correctly, well, right? I, right, okay. What well, I'm <laughs> interpreting it as is because in my opinion, you can argue that we are actually playing two completely separate games. Because that way, when I lose, in my version, I would have won. We all, I only <laughs> lost because we were playing your version. <laughs> That's you know. amazing. That's an amazing <laughs> statement. Uh, I, I wish I was older in the 90s, so I could have traveled to tournaments on arcade when ST was in its prime. But unfortunately, things don't didn't work out that way. So now we've got two completely God different sets it, of players. Dave and Linda, why did you have to, like, wait? <laughs> yeah. Spice, he didn't complain then, yeah. <laughs> Of course, things work out of the way. So now we've got two completely different sets of players. The ones that were the best in the arcade version of the game and the ones that are the best on console. And there was no way to fairly determine who is better. Balls. Balls. Mm-hmm. Man, like, just for a second, you thought he's saying some. Mm. You, you know, for a second, he was on to something in his post. Like you said, Steve, that first paragraph, you do feel a little bit of passion coming out. A little bit of human. Yeah. And then Those it goes to like this. probably like the best times of his life were being yeah. in the arcade. And he has a lot of nostalgia for it. And that's fine. A lot of people do have a lot of nostalgia for it. But then he moves on to paragraphs two and three. And then he says... And he just goes off the rails. And then he just uppercase <laughs> balls. I mean, how old, man? <laughs> yeah. Okay. 2008. Uh, 26. 26 we? years old. 26 years old, my friends. This is not a young gentleman. Balls. Well, I, I, in my notes, I have this as get fucked, Phil. So let's get to those posts that start. <laughs> the comment by shirts. <laughs> <laughs> you can argue that we are actually playing two completely separate games. Oh, goodness. Anyone that makes that argument knows nothing about video games. <laughs> that, that one. That one's deep. That, one's, that one cuts deep. That one cuts deep. Hmm. <laughs> and there we go. Uh, wait, it, wait, wait, wait. But isn't that what Dream is saying? I thought you agreed with that. I didn't say that. DSP <laughs> did. <laughs> just want to clarify for the record. Just Phil said that, say, not me. Just, just want to make sure you know. <laughs> just want to make sure everyone on this forum knows. I didn't say that. DSP did. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Uh, let's keep moving on. Lots more to get to here. We as we move on. Um, 
And this is 811. Yes, it is. Okay. So here we go. Um, what I mean to say is that Phil, okay, this person is kind of is, is kind of saying, what I meant to say is, that isn't, isn't what Phil is saying is the same thing as what you were saying, or do you mean that just from the stick aspect, it's a different thing, but it's not a completely different game? Okay, this person's kind of clarify, you're trying to understand Phil's opinion. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Dream TR stops in and says, I mean that me standing on stable surface versus me sitting down holding stick down with no free hand movement is different. But in terms of nuances and all that, DSP is referring to something, all, uh, something else altogether. Not like what I'm thinking. He's just talking about things like the PS1 tournament. Oh, yes, yes, this is, this is it. This oh, is it. This go. is it. This is it, boys. This is, fourth at Evo. Yeah. Real quick, though, what do you what do you get at fourth at Evo? I'm not sure. I need a fourth quick refresher. Fourth place doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Thank you. But here we go. This is fourth at Evo. This is going to be so fun to listen back. I can't hear that. So. He's just talking yeah. about things like PS1 tournament. He beats Watson and Choi on console, which he did in Evo. Uh -huh. Choi can't uppercut Vega. Jump bends with OG Sagat. I don't think I've ever seen Choi miss that uppercut, except on console. He just means that no one will ever play their best anymore, except the ones more dedicated to console. Different game. Okay? I honestly don't care what version I played, as long as there was no lag, and I could stand and do instant moves without having to build joystick down and control. So, this is Dream TR, in my opinion, saying... Phil, he's not saying anything negative about Phil directly, but he's just saying, hey, Choi and Watson probably would have done better if it wasn't the ps1 i think that's a is that that's safe to say right that's what he's saying right yeah i mean yeah it's he's basically saying like look it doesn't matter what version you have the controller is what matters joy can't <laughs> do it because he's playing the ps1 version and so he doesn't care what version he plays as long as he could stand you know yep. if he could stand and like he, he's got a flat surface to put the joystick on he's okay he could play arcade he could play dreamcast he could play playstation he'd be mm. fine just as long as the control, and that's fair point. Like I've got a couple of joysticks just to try and see yeah. what it feels like, but I can't play like that. I have to play yeah. with a pad if I want to properly play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, a lot of love support for yeah. Steve in the chat here from your sickness. Yeah, oh, Steve is, is is pulling through for us here today. I'm Thanks Ill. so much, yeah. Steve. If you ever got to go, got... please don't worry about yeah. it. You can I... head on out. <laughs> I think I caught something while I was at the hospital for my back. Oh, Turns out there's it. there's a lot of sick people in hospital. God damn it! Um, it always happens. Didn't think dude. of that. Uh, those British hospitals. They're known for that. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. We got some we got some more fun in the works here. And of course, Dark Side Phil. So much, so I, I, we have to read the response first. Just know I'm saying. I understand all mm -hmm. that, but I already talked about the community about what I want. And they wanted to say okay. By the way, someone is talking about when to change the day of something right here. And this person is mentioning they are definitely a player. Where is it? Or I want to I can read the official one if I could find it quickly. Please keep... Oh, sorry, sorry, excuse me. I missed a, a DSP post here, apparently. Please keep in mind... Oh, no, no. Okay, so this person this person is calling back to that way long ago post we saw about, um, uh, you know, the one that I said, show up on time, right? Show up on time, you fuck mm -hmm. up, you're fucked, right? So this is the person who's excited. I understand all of that, but I talked to community about that, what I want, they wanted Saturday. I'm aware that there'll be Trump for GG and so on, but it wasn't my personal decision. I'm fine with either day, but Saturday was what people wanted, so I'm just rolling with it. Thanks for the advice, but it'll be okay, okay? So yep. it's gonna be fine. Mm-hmm. Yep, uh, fine. Okay, so that's not Phil. That's not Phil. And here we go. This is Phil now. Sometimes the community does not know what is best for making a better competition. Oh, my dude. <laughs> <sighs> I've had to make... Okay, this is, this is so good. I've had to make tough decisions and sacrifices over the years mm -hmm. to ensure that things I'm involved with run smoothly. And for the most part... <laughs> Yeah, you know what those things are? Tough decisions and sacrifices is Visa or MasterCard. That's the tough decisions that you've had to make over the years to con to continue things going do smoothly. Do like your tournament. Do I get Phil donuts or ring donuts? Yeah. Do I get the suite that people will maybe play games with me on, or do I get a normal hotel room that doesn't cost me three hundred dollars a night? Which one should I do? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just get Visa to take care of it. Anyways. Uh, most part, I've gotten feedback, taking exception to certain people that demand something to be done their way. It's your call, but it, but if as the person running the events, you think it would be more beneficial to do something different, you should just do it and let the results speak for themselves. Okay, fair point, fair point. Also, just suggestion. Oh yeah, this is it. This, this is interesting. This is an interesting little side, side story we're going to. Also, just suggestion, being that the SBO winners are completely dependent on the 10% of the official tournament pots, I want to throw out there that perhaps some of the unofficial events would consider donating... <gasps> Some of their prizes as well. This oh. would be completely voluntary and up to whoever is organizing running these events. We all know that money is tight due to rising fuel prices, 
and I bet the tickets <laughs> to Japan will be very expensive this year. But others, just a thought I wanted to throw out there. Some might call this oh. a a subtle dig, but uh, do, you remember, <laughs> do you remember there was a brief period in one of the Alphaism radios where yes. they were talking about fuel prices? Yeah, I don't know where they live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, big else, we just got the oh, thirteen God. credit cards card. Perfect timing. Perfect timing on that poll. Perfect timing on that poll. Big <laughs> ups, whoever got that. Ghost likes Swayze. Big ups, man. Uh, let's keep well, moving here. Timing. Thank you. Uh, okay, so then DS says... That's, we a, got... that's a bit cheeky, though. That is a bit cheeky. It's like, you know, price pots looking a bit scrawny. Would you yeah, people would you uh, like wanna... having an official tournament chuck some money in as well? Could you, you know, you know what I'm saying? And DS, look at this brush off. We got this cover, man. No worries. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here with that nonsense. That's what, that's what I think that sounds like. Yeah, we got it, dude. Get yeah. the fuck out of here. Yeah, it's like, dude, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Stop going on about the community doesn't know what's best. Shut community. Up. We're trying to, like, look community-centered. Yeah, community that you talk shit on, don't worry about it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is, yeah. right? <laughs> so anyways, so, uh, so there is... Uh, let's go down to this. Funny part is that none of us live... In the, okay, so... Um, the Dream DR earlier, long way, it's not worth showing because it's shown here. Uh, Dream DR TR says, uh, the funny part, it, someone asked about who's the tournament organizers, and finally Dream TR lets mm -hmm. it know that uh, none of them are from the Midwest. I'm in Tennessee, DSP is Connecticut, and Sabre's in Arizona. DSP, of course, the very funny DSP says, what? I never agreed to any such thing. I never said mm -hmm. I was the mysterious tournament moderator, although I heard he's amazingly good at everything he does, drives a Ferrari, and gets laid all the time. Yeah. I, that, I heard he's got a bigger circumference of girth than Mandingo. Uh, <laughs> I mean, let's, like, it's an attempt, in it? It's an attempt at a humor, and it doesn't involve punching down at anyone either. It doesn't involve, like, outright mocking. It's a. It's just one of these. I'll, because... I'll give him that. It's not funny, but <laughs> it's, not it's funny, at least but... an attempt. <laughs> yeah. You know. It's just one of those Phil plan jokes. There's so many examples yeah. of these where they just do not work. Uh, yeah, profit, it's like the cutting off early at the end, isn't it? Of, um, yeah. Of, of the podcast. So by the many. way, everybody, just before you know, it cuts to like an image. Of yeah, that's yeah. his funny, that sort of thing. funny, funny joke. I, uh -huh. I, I we need to make a compilation of the of his prepared jokes that we know about uh, yeah. because they're all good. I mean, when I say good, I mean funny to watch because how bad they are. Unintentionally, yeah. For example, for me, it was just a Tuesday. Uh, was another good one. Another one was um, <laughs> it, for what was the uh, uh, you, you're never going to recover from this from having me on on side scroll. Oh, yeah, you're canceled great one. now. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're canceled, canceled now. Yeah. That's yeah, another good great one. But, oh, yeah. that was a, oh man. I still, sometimes I tell my kids about those jokes and they crack up too. Uh, let's go to 849. I cannot promise you this is Phil, but let's see if you agree with me. My notes say it's absolutely Phil. Um, so here we go. I'll push the three strike tournament with three cabinets. And usually Friday's not a big deal anyway. I have to agree. I think third strike singles at three, four, SBO, or whatever. And then the random games tournaments after will be much better idea. That will make sure third strike is done in a timely manner. No reason for the random tourney to push back the important stuff. The important stuff. Mm -hmm. The important stuff like the stuff I play, right? Mm -hmm. like also, remember I told you to remember that liquor store comment? Remember that? Uh -huh. Yeah. I, I never say anything for I never say anything randomly, my friends. Also, it will give me time to get smashed so I can win again this year. He won the mystery tournament last year while he was drunk. And he wants to do it again. He wants to do it again. I, I'm amazed <laughs> Phil needs time. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing wrong with getting drunk, by the way. If you're you're 26 years old, you're playing a fucking tournament, go ahead, get drunk. Yeah, fuck but, it, why uh, not? Yeah, it's yeah, a social yeah. event, and you're there with all your mates, and it's a yeah, good yeah, time. It's cool, but it's just, it's just interesting. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, problem. Yeah. no problem. It's because it's anyway, Phil. Yes, it, the person that, you know, is it it's used to be an alcoholic, alcoholic. totally. Yeah. Totally used to be an alcoholic, got over it, though. This is that period of his life he's talking about when he says, oh, I used to be an alcoholic. It's yes, this time. is the alcoholic time period where every night is, is drinking. All right, 881, uh, Justin Wong is back. I know, this episode's supposed to be at Justin Wong. He's back, finally, guys. Uh, someone asked him about um, what team do you want to be on, and Justin Wong said, all I know is me and Art were representing the TV 2v2, okay? So it's, it's our Justin Wong appearance for a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, and here we come back, and uh, here comes Phil. All I have to say is, LOL, are people thinking there's going to be time space for not only single side events, but also two-on-twos and all the like. So listen, what did Phil just say? What did Justin just say? I'm going to be representing the 2v2. What does Phil just okay. say? LOL, are people thinking there's going to be time and space for not only single side, but also two-on-twos and all the like. Mm -hmm. Seems to me 
that he's talking right to Justin here, but not again. He never directly talks to Justin. He never does. He, mm. he rarely does. I should say there are a few times, but in this case, he's saying, uh, uh, you know, it's LOL mm. at people thinking, not you, Justin, but funny at people coming thinking. in and going, Oh, I see people are talking about <laughs> this. Well, LOL. If you think you're actually going to get to do that in time, you know, <laughs> stick to the schedule, motherfuckers. Yeah. So uh, uh, it, I wish you the best of luck and hope it works out. But being a pessimist at heart, king of hate, pessimist at heart, I hope mm-hmm. you're not banking too much on it. This is probably going to be the biggest MVC tournament in history due to SBO qualifiers. And I predict that time space resources will be extremely tight. By the way, I watched some of the Arcana action at C3, and I think that game is a million times better than Melty Blood. Ah, I get fucked. <laughs> Melty Blood's better. Also, I want to personally. Come at thank- me, I kind of half hands. <laughs> There we go. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. Also, I want to personally thank those who've offered to donate some of their side event pots to the SBO qualifier. So his begging is working again. uh, This is extremely generous of you, and I'm sure whoever ends up winning will be extremely grateful. Very very gracious, though, Phil. Let's give him that. Gracious side Phil coming out here. Be sure to talk to Jason Saber, the mystery tournament director at NWC, and we'll work out the details. Again, this mystery tournament director is him. This is his joke uh, that he continues with. That's him. He's talking about his own, his self here. Very funny. I mean, give him credit. He's Again, they're attempts at humor. Attempts. He's, he's trying to use humor as a way to integrate into a community, and that's not the most inadvisable thing. That's a good thing to do. Yes. But he's just bad at it. But he's changed his tune, like, so hard. Remember? He was so aggressive in this very post. Remember? I'm not mm-hmm. playing a shit with that. Yeah, yeah. Now it's, it's back. Yeah. So my next note says uh, Power Trip Phil. Let's get to Power Trip Phil. Mm-hmm. Got to hear that. Yeah, we're not that far off. Well, you're actually wrong about the size of the sprites on the TV, you know. We're not that far from that, are we? Oh, definitely. No, hell no. Hell no. We can swing back and forth. You know when you go to these tournaments? um, Oh, what's that? That has to be the most disturbing. Oh, it was was a little over 120 for CVS1. That was frightening. That had to be the most disturbing event in human history. I'm glad I wasn't there. I'm I'm guessing money match. Yeah. Money match. $120 for a match of CVS1. So um, a lot of people are asking about, obviously, when there's tournaments, you got to, you know, young kids trying to find a place to stay is a big deal, right? Hotels, yeah. you know, at least 100. You, you, people ask about this shit all the time in these fucking throws. I see it all the time. Mm-hmm. So what does Phil do? Tournament director Phil do? Here's the deal, motherfuckers. Stop begging for free housing. <laughs> and this is the best. Stop begging. I love seeing stop begging. <laughs> Come like, here for Phil, yeah. yeah, that's the best. Like, just stop begging. Those two words, it, like they, they're magic. Stop begging for free housing. Maybe if you say something like, I'm willing to split a hotel room bill instead of house my bum ass for free, you might see some replies. But just, nobody's going to just house random players they don't know for no reason. Wise up, guys. But that comes later. You don't immediately start off with the money. You're like, you know, because they've got a place I can stay in. They go, yeah, I've got a room. And you go, great. Yeah. I'll start you so I'm, you know, I could bring this for you. I could pay you this much. I could offer this. But, you know, you do that later. You first need a, like, a, an actual place to stay before you start offering money for one. Yep. And let's not forget the very tournament that Jaha and Mike Watson had that thing with him. Uh, DSP had to bum a, a place to stay off this camp. Uh, oh, fuck I, yeah. I'm sure there's so many instances of that that we don't even know about, but that's just one. Big up to Tracker Jack for reminding <laughs> mm. me of that. Or, Maybe oh, no, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, that's true. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve, because we just heard, remember, earlier in this thread, earlier in the same thread, he was mm. pissed because people, the last thread, actually, because people don't want to house him or stay in his hotel room. They both yep. don't want to stay in his hotel room and both don't want to him to go to their hotel room. Mm-hmm. He's like trying to help out people all the time, but when people when he needs to go places, Absolutely. nobody offers him. He is Joseph leading Mary on the donkey around Bethlehem. And, uh, <laughs> no room at the remember, end. <laughs> never forget. And Ricky, but he will happily. He's he's flashing the cash at this point, and we've seen footage of his hotel rooms. So yes, and we know I, what sort of place he would buy. You know what I think it is? I think it is coming from a place of. All these people that can find place to stay easily and they have so much fun in their hotel rooms, I can't do that. So I don't want that to happen. That's what I think. You know what mm. I mean? Like, I can't do th- I can't have this experience that these people can have so clearly. So fuck you guys. That's done. You're not doing that. I can't do that. I so think, you can't do that. Yeah, I think maybe part of it is that it's that whole, look, well, when I do it, nobody else lets me. But when you do it, it's fine. Yeah. So 
if I can't do it, nobody should. You guys are organizing your travel and um, like sleeping and living arrangements in a way I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. So fucking knock it off and <laughs> start sort of like saying, I'll pay for this because then I know I won't have to spend that much money. <laughs> you know? So in this case, the tournament director s s jumps on Phil's side and says, I second that. I've had people ask me for rides to and from airports and they don't even know me, really talk to me at all. This has happened over the years. I just don't deal with it anymore. My room is always full. And I'm not gonna, going over four people, including myself, to room ever again. Screw that. One guy ran off in the morning without even paying his end of the bill. Nice. Okay, so he has a bad... <laughs> the uh, same guy that went to that dinner with Eric Lord and filled like 10 other <laughs> people. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next part here. <clears throat> so someone's asking about the Random Games Tournament, and he said, yes, uh, Random Games Tournament at 7 p.m. That means I can get reasonably drunk beforehand. <laughs> And take that shit again. Drunk, <laughs> dr drunken master that shit for the win. He did win the previous year. He did win in a drunken state. That's what he's talking about. Also making third mm -hmm. strike as much time as possible is a great idea. Even if third strike singles is a small turnout, we'll need all the time we can get for SBO qualifiers. Good shit, Mr. Wilson. That's the name of the tournament director. Yeah. Shit, I just realized that Sunday is going to be a shitty day for me. Marvel, Smash, and Tekken. Ugh. Quite terrible. Hope people are in the mood for casuals. Thanks, Phil. Uh, Phil, well, he's, he's, he really <laughs> hates Smash. He really yes, hates he Smash. He hates oh, yeah. Smash is the worst. And look at this, Phil. Well, you get to run Smash that day, and probably Tekken. Even better day than you thought, right? And uh, the mysterious. I mean, yeah, I yeah. mean Angela plays Tekken, so Phil, you what? might be with the chance there. Yeah, you might as well <laughs> try to make it. The, mis the mystery <laughs> tournament director hates you with a passion. I hope someone can explain the rules to Smash because I sure as hell don't understand them. Oh my god, okay. I've got a friend who's exactly the same. Doesn't won't like won't try Smash at all because yeah. they don't like that it goes up in numbers rather than going down in hell. You know, it's kitty. Yeah. <laughs> um. Again, there we go. Uh, take your rooming info shit to PM. Nobody cares if you come or who you are. Less uh, than three yep. to the. That's a great tournament director right here. This is how you want your tournament directors to speak. Uh, take your rooming info shit to PM. Nobody cares if you come or who you are. Great tournament organizer here. This is exactly like what people you want. Are trying to, yeah, people are trying to sort out the stuff so they can attend your tournament. This sounds really chill and very meaningful for a tournament organizer. Like, this is a, if this is an asshole comment, it's like, yeah, you're just an asshole. But if you're trying to help a tournament run, dude, like, what is this? Luigi says, chill out, dude. Yes. And then what does yeah. Phil say? Then get some common sense. <laughs> <laughs> People want to hear about NBC. <laughs> Sorry, what? Time out. Yeah, go. Please do. Alpha, yeah. is, Alpha is a radio. Do you remember? But he's like, well, common sense comes from experience. And I don't have that experience <laughs> when being <laughs> bitched out about the fact that he didn't believe somebody had a terminal illness. Yeah. And he's here oh, going, yeah. well, get some common sense then. Yes. Get some common <laughs> sense, dude. People want to hear about M M uh, you know, Midwest championships. Not your tireless efforts to sleep on someone's floor and save a buck. What? The thing that you can't do, Phil? That's what you're talking about? The thing you were bitching about in, this, in the last thread about? 90% uh -huh. of your posts in this thread have applied to two people, yourself and Keats. Take it to PN. Yeah, how 90% of your posts in this thread have applied to the person you're talking to in you? Well, yeah, of course they are. <laughs> but yeah, other people you... are still posting around them. Great point, like... Random Poster. He's just being, you know, Vince, Vince McMahon, Commissioner Side Phil. Yeah, that's it. You know, like fighting it against <laughs> yeah, DX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm the commissioner. Yeah. You got to listen to me, gang. Yeah. You know, I'm People tired. People want to hear about the SummerSlam card, <laughs> not your tireless efforts to drop <laughs> cocks. Yeah. Outlaw DG. I Take it your... to hell in a cell. <laughs> What's your guess, Outlaw? Oh, is don't asking do that again. How, how old? Yeah, don't do that. Do not do that again, dude. <laughs> uh, Outlaw DG says, how old was he when he's posting this stuff? What's your guess? Give your guess if you don't know, because I'll tell you afterwards and you'll be shocked. If this is a 17-year-old <laughs> kid, you'd be like, yeah, stupid kid. We're far mm. from that, my friend. Far. All right, let's go next. Uh, the response is, uh, two, uh, this guy's saying two and a half more weeks, blah, blah, blah. Gary Stridham. <laughs> yeah. uh, would the... <laughs> And I put this in here, my notes, big ups to Bucktooth. Phil's best friend, Bucktooth, makes an appearance. Big ups, man. Remember Bucktooth? They're so good friends that Phil put their, their image on the thumbnail of the video. But yep. he said hi to him, not in voice chat, to a screen. Mm-hmm. I remember <sighs> that. Yep, it's good to see you still around. Big ups, Buck. <laughs> hey, all. And listen to this. Listen to this. 
Is someone making the trip to the airport Thursday night, Monday morning, have extra space in their car? I'd like to hit up this turning, but not having a ride, place to stay Thursday night would add like 300 bucks to the trip cost. Uh, Bucktooth, uh, get in the DMs. Sake, get in the what DMs. Buck, why aren't you in the DMs? You're not listening? Damn. Did you not read the post? Did you not I know it was the... long, but... <laughs> oh, okay, so um, uh, that's the way men play. Is that here? 24, 23. 28. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This um, is. Here we go. This is um. This is a. This is DSP here. Extreme attention. 28. 26. No respond uh, to uh. No restraint. Oh, good guess. Yeah. 28. 26. He's 28. Yeah. He was. He was, he was sorry. This is 2008. So he was born in 82. 26. 26 years old. 26. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So Phil's ex writes next. Extreme attention. We've just been told that only two PS3 will be available. Blah 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 blah. If we do not get any PS3s donated, Tekken DR will be running on only two PS3s and will probably take the entire day on Sunday. So please, if you do, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what are, will the rules to Smash work and same as Brawl? Blah, blah, blah. And they saying like they will. Not that. Or it also going <laughs> to massive four-player elimination battles, everything else. That's wait, how wait, wait. Yeah. Being that I own Smash, but I've only played it about 10 times multiplayer and I've never actually paid any attention to a tournament or its rules, someone will have to decipher what they actually are and explain it to me. <laughs> or else I'm just doing a massive four-player God. With everything on because that's how real men play. Dude, it's Final Destination, no items, Fox only. <laughs> I'm going to win the whole thing. Good one, Phil. Amen. The brawl rules. Uh, look at this. Amen. However, the brawl rules on Evo 2K have been updated and they are pretty clear. Pretty, pretty clear. <laughs> so. <laughs> Wow, these rules are pretty unique. Puts a lot of power into the hand of whoever losing the first match. Pretty interesting, actually. Okay. Oh, blah, blah. That's very pertinent. Very pertinent. Extremely pertinent. All right, so let's get keep moving on here. We go down to Buck. Let's see, 339. Oh, that's not a nice response there. Wow, I say we do smash over that we like foreplay, melee with nothing banned, and then the winner meets me in the parking lot where I smash their face into the wall and take their winnings. Stupid rules. I hate Evo. Is... I did not That's see a that before. System one there as well. Yeah, let's go so. down to that. Um, that I, I don't think I can confirm that is uh, that is Phil or not, yeah. but it does sound like him, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't confirm or deny that's Phil DSP, but I would not be surprised. So take that with a grain mm -hmm. of salt. But there we go. Yeah, grain of salt. But yeah, it's not like you know Phil doesn't like Smash. Let's be honest. So comeback says very nicely. Listen. Mm -hmm. Sorry if it was taken that way. I had every intention on paying whoever housed me. I'm just looking for a little help. I would gladly pay up. But see, okay, he doesn't that's get it. That's how it works, dude. That's yeah. how that's a normal response. That's a, what the fuck are we supposed to do? This is a tournament thread. We're trying to find a place to stay, you dumb fuck. How are you supposed to go to DMs if you don't know who's available? <laughs> yeah, I just DM everyone. I'm looking yeah. for housing. That's more annoying. <laughs> Okay, so let's keep going here. We're not done. Uh, Six says, don't overestimate the number of people who come for Tekken this year. It'll be nothing like last year. The year before was maybe 20 people or so, not to mention the year before that. That being said, big ups. I'll see what Shout I can out. do to get another system or two there. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I might be able to get another two PS3s. Uh, I there, know. So, sort of the system. But yeah, Steve, yeah, yeah. you're a real fan of common sense, Phil. Common sense side, Phil. <laughs> Here's more. It's not my fault that people wait, wait, wait. don't have you should read the quote. Oh yeah, I think Phil. You should read the quote. Yep. Oh yeah, fuck. Where did I admit that? Where did I admit? How the fuck I was in my notes? How did I miss that? Humbug, 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 humbug. Oh, I must have missed it before. All right, we got to hear though. We'll read the quote. Humbug mm -hmm. says, "Phil, you're a really cool guy, attorneys, but please drop this online assholeness, especially towards friends of mine. I do agree that kind of stuff should be PM related, but not to be assholes to people. But whatever. I guess that's just how you are. Damn." I, I just, guess that's just how you are. 2008. 2008. I mean, it, it goes with what everybody else says, that he is completely different in person than he is online. You know? Absolutely. He, he, he just crumbles. He's quiet. You know, even Ray Lord described him as quiet. Mm -hmm. and, you know, granted a lot of that might be a mis representing or misunderstanding it so very much too, could be yeah justin wong also said the same he's completely different in person he's very quiet you know he doesn't really he's, he's not like this basically yeah. there it is all there's the people the... that have got experience with him have said the same yeah there's the so. quote there phil has to respond of mm -hmm. course it's not my fault people don't have common sense 
<laughs> Most people don't know this, but I re- but, but really, I am the same person IOL as I am on SRK. It's not an act. Dude, no. Dude. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. He said, this is all character, right? Yeah. In retrospect, mm-hmm. this is all a character. He's changed, yeah. This is all He's a character. He's changed, it's all a character. I'm putting that as the quote of the day so far. That's, that's the quote of the day right now. That's getting pinned. That's a pin. Most people don't it's know this. It's been said by so many people. Yeah. It's been said all like, this feel you're cool at tournaments, but stop being an asshole. Even on Alphas and Radio, they were like that. Yes. The difference is, IRL, people don't act like morons like they do on SRK, so I don't have to rip them a new <laughs> asshole. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How did you rip the asshole of Jaha, I want to know, when he did, he, I, you could say he treated you like a moron, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Yeah, and what did, Jay, Jay, did Justin Wong say? Two faced. Justin Wong mm-hmm. himself said two faced. We already heard that. Yep. And as you can see, Justin Wong doesn't have time to fuck around with these forums or this nonsense, which is why I know this is supposed to be a Justin Wong episode. There's not much Justin Wong because he's not a fucking idiot and he's just a normal mm-hmm. human being that doesn't have time for this nonsense. He really doesn't have time for this nonsense. He's got tournaments to win and practice for. <laughs> Anyways, don't flood the thread with an entire page of trying to find a floor to sleep on. Period. <laughs> Last year, the e- for Evo East, I created a totally separate thread for people. Oh yeah, let me tell you how I do it correctly, guys. Let me tell you how I do it. Yeah, yeah. Don't flood the thread with it. Th- but last year for Evo East, I created a totally separate thread for people to, for- to use to find somewhere to stay, and it worked beautifully. The average person is looking in this thread for crucial updates about the event. <laughs> crucial updates about the event. Right. 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 And they don't want to have to dig through page of can I sleep in your bathtub to do so? Extremism film? I mean I would I would if I was clicking on a thread like this, I might expect like your first couple of posts to be about, you know, here's here's what we're playing on Saturday, here's what we're playing on Sunday, here's the teams and here's the times and everything. But then below that it will be, hey cool, I'm going here, I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be staying at this place. I'm gonna be staying at this place. Does anybody know if this place is open? Does anybody know where I could stay? Because I'm flying from here. You know, so you would expect to find all that sort of stuff in this thread. Or at least I would. Don't know Thank about. you so much. Nuclear Detractor had a great point as well, Steve. Can't wait to see the rest of Phil's crucial updates in this thread. Oh, yeah, we're going to see him. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of crucial updates. Let's look for crucial updates. Every, every post oh, we're going to be that met mystery with tournament updates. organizer that seems to yes. have it in for Phil, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, the average person is looking in this thread for crucial updates. Yeah, they don't want to have time to dig through pages of blah, 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 blah. I don't care if it's your friend or not. I would have said the same shit to my friends. But you didn't say it to Bucktooth, though. What friends? He said it, yeah. Okay, what friends do you have? You know, just wise up and stop the spamming. You can easily take to PM. This includes your comment two posts back on floor space. Also, for tech and DR, better safe than sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway. <clears throat> Moving on next to... This is a classic, if memory serves. <clears throat> so this person here is like um, Dark Geese here. This Dark Geese mm-hmm. character enters the thing, and he's saying, I'm taking a plane to get here. I am taking a plane to get this event. That's all you need to know about the context here. And um, Phil says, uh, Dark Geese says, you know, I'm taking a plane next Thursday. Mm-hmm. How about, what are you doing to someone else? Oh, Snitchinator, big ups. Snitchinator yeah, yeah. pull. Big ups, who got the Snitchinator? That was Bill Braski with the Snitchinator pull. Big ups. Always nice to see that on the scrolls. Uh, but he says, Jack Daniels. <laughs> it's <Nietzsche data. laughs> but anyways uh, Phil says your dedication to SNK is ridiculous I know I would never have that kind of dedication for anything lesser than Street Fighter fuck you man mm-hmm. what the fuck lesser anything less you- what the fuck man mm-hmm. disrespecting someone's dedication to fighting games what the fuck man this disgusting. Anything less. This I is mean, disgusting. Like, so if you come for like Capcom versus SNK or Marvel versus Capcom or Guilty Gear, you know that's that's dedication that Phil won't give because it's lesser than Street Fighter. That's just disgusting, man. To yeah, make, to make someone's lesser about their passion that they're flying, paying who knows how many hundreds for a fucking tournament for three days, and you say that back. What it's, is that, man? What is that? People are saying it in chat. It is elitism. Yeah. It is literally like shitting on your game. Oh, you're doing that for SNK. Wow. God. 
Look at well, you. you. Really, most like, you know, Fatal Fury or King of Fighters or Samurai Showdown, you know. <laughs> Not like, you know, those little underground ones by that p pathetic little developer that nobody plays. Yeah. I just, yeah that's, it's that's, proper a, that's a. That's a. Shitting on you. That's fucked up, man. Anyways, we're not done. I wish you the best of luck at Marvel. Okay, great. Thanks, Phil. Mm. Yeah, thanks. That really means a lot, knowing how you don't think our gamer is good as Street Fighter. Uh, as I said earlier for Cider Vets, you might want to consider donating. Here we go. Another bag. <laughs> Another bag. As I've said for other side events, you might want to consider donating a piece of the pot for your events to go to the SBO qualifier winners. Yeah. It's not <laughs> mandatory. So you do not have to respond if you don't feel that would be reasonable, Steve. Go ahead. I was just saying, like, you know, I, I know I'm just shit on you and your favorite game, but if you want to put money in for the winners of this <laughs> other game that you're not playing. Amazing. Yeah. That's it. Hey, I just shitted on your dedication to a game that, that, that I think is stupid, but, you know, eh, besides all that, if you want to give money, please give money. Just throw the idea out to all who are attending NYC, and I feel it should be help out the winners as much as we can. Okay. I hope there's enough space for all these side events. Oh, so also putting doubt into his side events, right? Mm -hmm. I hope there's enough doubt and space for all these side events. I know that room get cramped and tight and hot. And this year it's going to be record numbers undoubtedly. Viva la arcade. <laughs> oh, the response underneath that. That's great. Viva la deodorant. <laughs> Seriously, deodorant is necessary for all people. If not, unleash something terrible, something of terrible upon the stinky. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is Phil. Uh, I hope it's bullets. Uh, I hope it's bullets uh, and not uh, more stink. I am a pro at jumping underneath objects. I live in the ghetto. I can't. Uh, you just I can't. like I can't I confirm, can't. but you know, like your gut is telling you. Let's be honest, your gut is screaming. Who that? Who who wrote that? That's Phil. That's Phil. That's Phil. That's Phil. And it mm -hmm. can't. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. real quick, uh, I, I'm not going to post it here, but obviously some people have seen the pictures of Phil's original house where he lived in, and it wasn't a rough area. Oh, to be credit fair. from Dream as well. I have to say, Dark Geese does hold the SNK down, though. I have SNK. I love SNK games. A lack of any group outside Miami. It's on Summer Shadow and Tunes. So, yeah, so uh, he's like, sticking up for Dream. Fires. Yeah, sticking up. Like, dude's, dude's legit. Dude yep. holds down the scene. Yeah. Yeah. So, these, so Phil again. Uh, great up. callback to the mean streets of Connecticut. Mean streets of Connecticut <laughs> being pulled up here. Okay. Is that a pull? Is that a card? Uh, no, we, we need it, though. We need just it. Like, yeah, need yeah, it. just like a shot of a street. We do have people <laughs> shooting up, which is just... Uh, yeah, I saw people shooting people. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I that's saw what, people shooting up, yeah. I, in my head, that's what <laughs> Phil saw outside the Burger King. Just urban-style people <laughs> playing basketball. And he said, oh, they're shooting up. Okay. <laughs> we continue on uh, to... Uh, where is it? 2009. Where are we at? Okay, yeah. I hope it's I hope it's bullets, not more stink. That was the uh, very cringy. Mm. Yeah. Uh, let's go to a next post here, my boy. We are getting towards it. We are getting towards the end of it here, and then um, here we go. So this is officially we are freaking. We official. Okay, so, so but, but he's asking how much the the dark goose yeah, guy yeah. seems to be a legend. Is asking how much money do you fucking want? Just tell me how much do you want? Tell yeah, me for the pot. How much for the pot? Officially, yeah. we're taking ten percent of the pot from all Evo games. Some others running some of the anime style fighters. Anime style fighters have Dial, also yep. offered <laughs> has also <laughs> offered to donate ten percent of their pots. It's not much, but every bit helps, especially with the massive ticket massive ticket prices due to fuel this year. I paid one hundred twenty five to go to M Y M W C last year. This year, I paid three hundred. What the fuck? Fuck you, George Bush. Yeah, I got a feeling this is Phil. Fuck you, George Bush. <laughs> Damn, political side Phil coming out hot. Hello, <laughs> Justin Wong is back. Remember, this is supposed to be the Justin Wong episode. Real yeah. quick, Justin, I got a question. What does fourth place get? One more time. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. Fourth place doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Justin Wong has his any more money matches for me. Re. And here we go. This is why oh. this is included. This is it. I'm being the Joker right now. Here we go. DSP directly reacts to Justin Wong. Sir Wong, some might say. Phil says, no money for you, son. Get a job. With a laugh, though. With a laugh. Okay, with a laugh. With a laugh. Justin Wong responds, X2 deaf but no MKA. Don't know what that is. Give me more money matches. I'm bored. Completely ignoring Phil. 
completely mm-hmm. ignoring Phil. Completely ignoring Phil. What happens next? Phil writes back again. What do we have? Oh. No money matches for you. People need to stop challenging you and losing for free. Oh, free. dude. Now we're building it up. It was a long buildup, but now we're here. All right, let's see We've what been happens. Edging people for hours <laughs> I've been edging now it's you. Time I've to been... come. <laughs> Please notice Open me. Open your folders. Make sure we can't hear what you're listening to. <laughs> Please notice me, Sir Wong. Please. Please notice me. And then Okay, right. Uh, someone's late. Time to restart the whole stream. <laughs> <laughs> so someone says, hey, Justin, is our 20 match on? You know, just say, hey, you got yeah, a money yeah. match. We call. Cool. kind of hearts. Justin Wong, irrelevant. What Phil says is irrelevant to this gentleman. Does not give a fuck. Says, yes, it's still on, Rob, and has better things to fucking do with his day. Not done yet. We are far mm. from done yet. Another, I, I call that the ignoring Phil thread because that's what, I mean, ignoring Thrill post because that's what the fucking was. Let's Do you go think the down. other one is him as well? Could be. Could I very we well be. One. I can't tell for this one, but it could be. Could be. Yeah. Um, you could play, be. There's, yeah. But Phil just ignores. So, I mean, uh, Justin just ignores. So I can't even tell. Like, he, Justin, like, legitimately ignores Phil. Mm. It's, it's, it's almost like it's on purpose. <laughs> I can't tell because Justin really doesn't talk to many people in forums at all, to be honest. He kind of is. Does his thing and gets the fuck out. Uh, yeah. NKI makes another appearance. We remember him earlier, a few an hour ago or so. He was our star of our show. He's back. He says, "You are solo mags versus my MSS three five or twenty. We should team up for the ST qualifier, right? To be teams." Mm-hmm. NKI. Um, oh, yeah. So Magneto Sentinel star. Talking about Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. There yeah, we yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool. And so also, we Jake, get... don't play my Mortal Kombat Armageddon. It's so <laughs> jank. <laughs> So there we go. We go to there, and Justin Wong is still interested in getting some money matches. Look at this. Nobody mm-hmm. wants a money match, little old me. I'll Didn't take the GGXX bet Luigi. Okay, so he's mm-hmm. he really, you know, Justin at this point wants money. I mean, it's just yeah. fair. He wants money, and that's very clear. Uh, I mean, with the, with the skills he's got, you might as well give it a shot, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm like, no, no, no slight in that. No, no, I'm wants- good at fighting games. I'll challenge a few people. What that's what we do. I mean, that's what these things are for, right? Is to yeah. do that. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to go to make sure I don't skip up on it too fast. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Justin Wong says, nobody wants to money match little old me. I'll take the GG bet, bet Luigi. This is the dark side, Phil. In my opinion, people that challenge you to money matches just so they can say someday I lost to Justin Wong is pretty pathetic oh 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 my god but i also think it's lame that you spam posts begging for money matches in every tournament thread you're going to spam post he's made like five across all of this all of these 1000 and we have we have this 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 thread has (laughs) 1240 posts so far i have Mm -hmm. shown you every single justin wong post it's been four Maybe five. Uh, asking for money matches, legitimately four. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Here we go. You're already going to win and or place in most of the tournaments. Do you really need to beg for more money? Do you really <laughs> need to beg for more money? Why not just start charging for autographs and photos? Someone at one of my earliest CT tournaments actually asked for Arturo's autograph. I'm sure he would have paid for it too. But seriously. Maybe maybe yeah, go Justin ahead, please. enjoys playing fighting games with other people. You know, maybe that's why he doesn't, he, he doesn't mind. Like, does anybody fancy a go? You know, I'm just happy to play. I don't mind if I win or lose. You know, it's money's money. It and doesn't have owners. It has spenders. Even so, worse. Th- yeah, that's true too. That could, That's true too. But I, even more than that. Everyone, lots of people are asking for money matches. I've, I can't show you all of them. I've shown you NKI asking for money matches about three times. I showed the other three people asking DSP for money matches. He turned those down though. Remember, mm-hmm. everyone's asking for money matches. Everybody, yeah. not you know, well, there's so many in this fucking thread. But Phil, and it's because it's Justin, and it's not just yeah. so they can someday go, oh, I lost to Justin Wong. It's like I can, I played against Justin Wong, and that is not, cool. So like, yeah, it doesn't it's a matter to people if they're gonna lose. It's the 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 thrill of playing the game against him. You know, I'd play. I'd play him. I'd lose to him, but it wouldn't be that that I told people. I'd be like, I had a match against him. 
I played him once. It was great. That's but you hit yeah. on it. That's the part that Phil doesn't like. That those people are pretty pathetic. Oh, you want to play against yeah. Justin Wong? You're pathetic. You're pathetic, dude. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <sighs> okay, but seriously, if people want to challenge you for money, they will. You don't need to keep asking, or else I'll keep asking you to play me in Marvel vs. Capcom One, and that you do not want. <laughs> that you do not want. <laughs> All right. Okay, the tournament organizer has to come in. What does he say? Uh, I have to agree. I have to agree about all the money matches versus Justin, but can you blame him? The numbers for tournaments and higher costs for gas airfare does not make it viable for him to make money without constant money matches these days. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, How people, yeah, 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 yeah. So that, that's it. You have so, to make a living. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to make some money. <laughs> no, crazy how people line up to play him and lose, though. Just to say they lost to Justin Wong, I suppose. But if you beat him no. at some random game he does not play as much than Bragg, I guess that's a story, too? Shrug. Yeah. So it's got, Dream is kind of like siding with Phil, kind of. But but he is trying to defuse the situation. Yeah, yeah, that's he, the way he, to say he, it. He can see that Phil's being very abrasive and very, like, aggressive. Yeah. And he's trying to sort of, like, calm things down again. He's de-escalating the situation. We're going, yeah, you're right, but come on, you know, you blame him. Is Dark, Ge sort of Dark Geese. Remember the legend Dark Geese we've learned about earlier mm -hmm. flying into this event just to yep. keep the, and also donating money just out the of his SNK own pocket. Matches. Yep. Just for him. Just for him. Dark Geese says, mm -hmm. I totally understand this. I love to do a lot of money matches myself to make up for all the money I've had to spend on my uncle's funeral, etc. But I gotta run SNK tournaments. This dude, man. This dude mm. is what you want to be. So I can't be sidetracked by all that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, mm -hmm. I also, too, I would win about 90% of my money matches also, but like I say, my first priority is running tournaments. After that, I'll money match anyone should there be time. It's different for someone that's running tournaments that someone that just wants to enter, as I know, you know just... Oh, sorry. I'm, I very much messed that up. It's different for someone that's running tournaments than someone that's just coming to enter. As I know, you know Jason, other organizers, you know there's different priorities, some others that just want to get their rocks off to some money-making drama that just don't understand. I got people that want to be able to say they've beaten me in SNK. Okay, Dark Geese, I don't know if you're that big a deal, but I got people that want to be able to say they beat me in SNK games or that or that want to say they lost to me, played me. It's flattering to say the least, Dark Geese. Is Dark Geese a big deal, guys, in chat? I do not know. But he, he seemed like a legend, but now he's, he's very confident in his skills. There you go. He's very confident in his skills, is all I can say. Shout out to a nuclear tractor who said, Uncle's oh, funeral, what, are you trying to be the king of suffering? <laughs> Hang out. on. Oh, good for you. Good for you. Good for you. All right, well, as you can, if I'm spoiling here, Justin Wong does respond mm -hmm. to something, but it ain't DSP. It ain't DSP, my friends. <laughs> what, is, what does Justin Wong do, the legend? He, he talks about the money matches he's going to do. <laughs> Yeah. I'll do Garo, King of Fighters, FEC, DTT. <laughs> Just ignoring. Justin Wong ignores the nonsense. He is anti drama. This dude is <laughs> anti, anti drama. He does not give a fuck. He just goes on. God damn, man. Justin Wong gives us nothing. Maybe that's why he's so good. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. why he's so good at games, though. <laughs> He does not take debate in any way, shape, or form. Just ignore him. And you know, he's just winding Philip more and more. Every time uh, he sees Justin post and not respond to him. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just like LTG now. It's yeah. like, just completely stonewall them. You will get, <laughs> give them nothing and you will wind them up more than if you gave them something back. If you responded, <laughs> they'll react. But if you say nothing, yeah. they'll react even more. So... All right, so we got to say real quick, MVC is always and always has been a 3-day major. It's like Evo World and ECC. If you're a local and you can't take the day off from work. Oh, the, sorry, excuse me. I forgot to read this earlier. I want to read it because a quote comes back. Uh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. person's asking about why there's, it's a 3-day three three day thing. Why is it three days? This yeah. person's saying, if you're local, this is DSP, by the way, speaking. This is Phil, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just like Evo World and ECC, if you're a local and can't take the day off from work, that's pretty lame. <laughs> that's pretty lame, dude. Come dude, on. come on. That's pretty lame. So, Can't get time off work. Fuck you. So let's move on. God, that's pretty bad, though. Now let's go back to when that person claps back on Phil. He says, I understand that, but truthfully, I have a job where it's not so easy to take a day off of work, where if yeah. I did, someone else would get fucked. Yeah. The only other viable option I see is I could save some cover for me, but it's kind of easier said than done. Again, it was just venting. I should be there either way. 
So, you know, it's tough, right? It's not that simple to take days off. It's not pretty lame. Yeah. Pretty lame. <laughs> Bucktooth enters the room. Money matches, money matches are a good way to kill time while waiting for your matches. Mm. So that's Bucktooth's take on the whole thing. Makes sense to mm -hmm. me. If anyone's going to have Battle Fantasia Station up, I'll be able to do that too. Nice. Okay. Oh, so, but Battle Fantasia was not bad. Big up, <laughs> Bucktooth. Very hot. <laughs> big up, Bucktooth. Yeah, yeah, that's the Bucktooth. His best friends, best friends with Phil. Yep. We are riding down our form things tonight, and uh, <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Look at Justin. <laughs> Look at Justin. Money, ma money match, please. <laughs> Does not give a Ooh, fuck. <laughs> the response underneath. I wonder who that could have been. Dude, this is it. This is it. Stop begging, please. <laughs> this is Dark Side Phil. This is Dark Side Phil saying, "Stop begging." This in June of 2008 is Dark Side Phil asking Justin Wong to stop begging. Amazing. This is a, this is a fossil that needs to be in a in a museum somewhere. Yeah, it needs to be displayed proudly. Like as you walk in, you know, it's right above that reception. <laughs> Stop begging, <laughs> please. Dark side Phil. Dark side Phil. <laughs> Justin Wong is now the one who's on stream going, guys, I've just really heavily invested in my content. So if you like <laughs> old school fighting games and you want to support Street Fighter and see my game improve and do better, please support the stream. <laughs> you know? Amazing, dude. I cannot <laughs> that believe That was just this. in Wong's destiny. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. <man. laughs> Silent Weapons Museum of Natural Pig Story. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> that's it. That's what we're so let's, We're almost there now. We're almost there. Um, let's go it's a little bit farther down. Uh, this this one has to be screenshotted. Though. I gotta save this one. I gotta save this. There we go. Uh, let's go to uh, one ninety. Getting to the end there, boys. One one mm -hmm. four six. We're winding down here. I hope you enjoyed the Odyssey. You know, Justin Wong doesn't give us much, but Phil tries. And you know that's in response, by the way, to mm -hmm. Justin just ignoring Phil straight up. <laughs> you know, like oh, he's, yeah, getting, yeah, yeah. he's building yeah. up the piss. You know, like I'm getting more and more and more piss. You know, <laughs> exactly, exactly. He was uh, just so, annoying him more and more every time he was ignored. Or, or earlier in the thread, someone talked about uh, East versus Midwest thing. Uh, this is uh -huh. Phil talking about that. I'm down for the whole East versus Midwest as well, although I suck on US Cab. I'm going to tough it out, though. I can run this since I'm actually tournament staff. Smile. Look, he's so <laughs> proud. Look, he's so proud. A little, little bit of authority. A little bit yeah, of I'm, I'm, you lot. I'm actual tournament staff, if you know it. I don't know if you knew this, but I'm tournament staff. So thank you. <laughs> this, is, this is just reminded me of when they went to the uh, the convention at the, at the Behesta Mission in E3, and they were like three days, like two days into it, when they discovered that their badges would let them skip queues. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah. that. It's like it's going to realize on the last day of um, the, the the tournament that oh, I've got this badge. <laughs> you mean it could have gotten me a drinks after all? <laughs> you know. <laughs> God. So here we go. The, the the team East is going to be me, Chris Doyle, No Ho No Ho. Uh, and other possible candidates, John Rambo. Of course. Uh, shout out to John Rambo. Uh, Justin Wong, if he even cares. I like that. If he <laughs> oh, even cares yeah, yeah. edition. If he's if he's not too busy with his money matches. Yeah, if he's not too busy with money. Yeah. You know, <laughs> money. To be honest, I don't even really know who else is going. I also, know also some guy called Shag. Shag, which is yeah, hilarious. Shag. Who gives a fuck about Shag? Who gives a Shag? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Uh, to be shot. honest, I don't even really know who else is going. I know that Flashy makes it out, but if he does, it's totally to a strong candidate. Time-wise, the best to do with this would be either Friday night uh, or possibly during the day on Saturday. However, lots of people will probably be spending all of Saturday practice time for Street Super Turbo. It's not sure how fair it would be to hog a cabinet during that time. I'll be busy all day Sunday running Smash and Tekken, so that's out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't be at that tour. I can't be at that whole East versus Midwest match. So fuck it. Yeah, you <laughs> it notice that? Notice that? that? Great point. Yeah. Remember how Phil was so earlier tournament side, tournament organizer side. Phil was so strict about deadline. This is when we're fucking yeah. doing it. You got problems? Fuck the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. And look at his schedule. Side Phil comes out. Listen to this. These are the days I can do it, so that's out. When can we do this? What, what you know? It's just amazing. 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 
All right, let's keep going. How about suggestions for how to do this? We could Elim style LLCVS2, or we could do the whole round robin bit, and the team with the most wins wins. I personally like the round robin idea, but time constraints may not work out to our advantage. All right, cool, cool. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so let's keep moving on here. 61 right here. All right. So, um, blah, 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 blah. this means that someone I'm allowing, uh, I, I, this is the dark, dark side fail. It seems like he has a lot of power all of a sudden. I don't know why. It says, I'm allowing the RK to console joystick converters for the 5 on 5 event, which means prepare to face me on my Japanese stick, which means the Midwest is fucked. I look forward to this event. Better step up, motherfuckers. Yeah. Once again, you lot are better. Step up. Step up. You, we always get that with Phil. You better you know? step up, motherfuckers. I've organized this tournament and no one showed up. I've started these forums and no one's using them. I've, like, finally, after years of begging, finally got around to playing that game and no one showed up. You know, all of, we get that all the time. God. All right, it's so on you. It's on other dealt, people. Are you damn right about yeah. that? Uh, so the tournament yeah. organizer Dream says, better hope those things work right in the days before. Fingers crossed on that. Not sure it's going to work. You know, whatever. Mm. Uh, Phil, yeah. I didn't see your post at the bottom of the last page. Yes, let's bust some heads. I don't know who that is. Uh, DSP says, if they don't work, I'm fucking myself, so it's all good. I should know within a few games. Of course, mm -hmm. if he wins the games, they're going well. If he's losing the games, the controls suck. Maybe keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. John Rambo makes his first appearance, and he says, Rambo is coming. Sign me up, kids. Oh, I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy for him. Yes, Rambo is in the house. Uh, let's keep going on. Good for him. Rambo enjoying his time here. So NKI, the legend, the legend himself, says, hey, so now that you can actually use your own stick, motherfucker, how about that race to 10 for 50, bitch? Remember we talked about it now that like a mm -hmm. month ago in this very same thread? You want to go at it? Let's go. Phil, let's see how Phil has. Is he confident or what? He says... If the converter works properly, I'm game. If the converter works properly, I'm game. But I'm only doing three to five max. I don't get why people love these first to ten series. I don't want to be playing for two hours for a measly fifty bucks and hogging the cabinet at the same time. I'm beginning to wonder how you would button map a joystick on an, enter on an arcade cabinet. Maybe this converter thing isn't going to work after all. Guess we'll have to see. So oh, look at this. Gotta, yeah, this back, back yeah, it out already. Back it yes, out. Gotta... Setting up why it's not going to happen. Right. Let's get real. That's what he's doing. Fair, yep. Steve. Yep, fair. Yeah, of course. It, yeah, of course. You won the first ten. The converter wasn't working on my thing, and we didn't have time to check it out and replace it. So, yeah, you take that tainted win. Bill you know. loves this. I'm beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm beginning to wonder how you can map a joystick. So, like, maybe it's not gonna work. I'm not sure though. So we'll see that day. I don't know though. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Don't be the bitch. He was man. so I confident see before. That. <laughs> we'll do it. I'm right. I'm allowing these converters. I'm allowing five on five. I'm allowing the converters, which means you're all fucked. Okay, yeah. Phil, how about taking me on? What do you think about the converters? I don't know. <laughs> great work. point. Yeah, great fucking point. Okay, where was that fucking be better step it up? Well, it, 160. Like not that far up. Yeah, not that far up. up. Yeah. <laughs> 1161. You, you better step it up. Here we go. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Right here in this, in this comment. I. Uh, which means the Midwest is fucked. I look forward to this event. Prepare you, to face me on my Japanese stick. You better step it up. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, uh, sir Phil. I'd like to play you in a money match. Well, uh, thing about that is, uh, you know, and well, so about that, that's literally what he's doing. Literally. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, moving on, moving on, moving on. Uh -huh. We are getting our way there. Okay, so Team E, th this person Noho Noho is trying to like, uh, you know, set the yep. team. Team East is going to be yeah, Noho yeah. Noho, Damn Die, Chris, Shag, Arturo, Phil, and Rambo. And then someone says, "I'm down." Big ups, Anime One Hundred Nine. You're a legend. Uh, blah 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 blah. Nothing happens here. Justin Wong says. Justin Wong chimes in. I don't mind playing for Team EC Street Turbo Turbo. Just put me as the fourth or anchor so I can play the latest. ST goes by quick, so it's all good. You know, Justin Wong, as usual. I can fit in. I can fit in the yeah, game there. Just cool. put me like in the fourth put, in the list. And, put me at the end, man. And, you know, yeah, yeah, put me at the yeah. end. That's all I ask for, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So that was from mm -hmm. Justin Wong at 1181. Yeah, Let's go right, to. Quick. Straight forward. Yep. 
All right. Uh, okay, so then this NKI responds. If the converter works properly, I'm game. But I'll get the <gasps> oh, back. So oh, okay, okay oh, the then. last sentence yeah, of yeah. that one before it. That oh, one. Oh, 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 sorry, I missed it. As much as Phil likes to complain about all kinds of stuff, if Chris Doy happens to sweep you chumps, I don't think he'll mind. Okay, that's As fine. much as Phil likes yeah. to complain about all kinds of different stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he's already got a reputation here. Uh-huh. Yep, he already it's likes to amazing. complain about all different kinds of stuff. That's just known. That's just something everyone knows. Yeah. It's not even a question. You what was the other one? Like, well, you can bring it. You can bring your own. I think it was a couple of weeks ago. You can bring your own joystick, so you don't get to complain about the, the arcade cabinet or the sticks on that. Yeah, People yeah, yeah. Like properly anticipating his complaints. Obviously, this they early. always know. Yep, already, already. Uh, Bucktooth DSP money match me too. People asking. <laughs> Most, you know, Phil earlier was bitching about people asking for money matches because most people have to ask for them, right? Phil doesn't because people ask him for them, which I don't yeah. think is a good thing, right? I don't think that probably is a good thing in terms of your skill level, right? That's what, my, that's what I would think. Yeah. <laughs> there's a point where you, you become asked for because you're good. And there's, <laughs> there's like another point where you're asked a lot because you're bad and yes. you're easy money. You know, uh -huh. so yes. like I think Phil and Justin are like two opposite ends of this magnetic fight game pole. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> it is something. So here we go. Um, and look at this. Look at this. This is DSP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Justin Wong, I remind you, said he'll do it if he was the fourth or anchor. Right? You, the anchor of East Coast Super Turbo, rolls eyes. That is Phil's response to Justin yep. Wong. Mm -hmm. At this point, already a five-time winner. That's a Diss. That's, that, a, that's a that's a that's a straight up diss. Fuck straight up diss. But <laughs> you, 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 the last anchor? one. Fuck yeah. It. What do you, what are you? What's wrong with you? What are you thinking here? Uh, Buck, if the converter works, I'll play you as well. I hate making promises when they all hinge on if the converter works, though. Oh, but you love making <sighs> excuses when they all hinge on the converter didn't work. Though. Oh, I, what <laughs> happened to we got to step it up? We're going to get our asses kicked. Mm -hmm. That what just disappeared very quickly when the likes of NKI, which I, <coughs> appears to be a good, a good, a player of some known, you know, he's known enough to get interviewed. You know, I guess that shows something. Yeah, yeah. And Bucktooth, yeah. we know, has finished highly in Evo himself. I know that. And is still a good player. Oh, when you guys ask me, though, hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hate making promises, guys. You know how that goes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, okay but fuck you justin <laughs> <laughs> yeah justin fuck you though all right let's go to uh... <laughs> all right the response to that quote that one underneath it which one it's just so i'll be silly going yeah yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get that flesh there. creature and yeah and, yeah and we get some good like, shit in there there you go fuck yeah. is this person <laughs> foolish young flesh creature your fate has been determined evil laugh so this is talking about um this person yeah, yeah. challenging this person uh, yeah. Who is this asshole? I thought it was Phil. It's not. It's not. It's not him. So don't think that. No, oh, Vicioso. It's not. Oh, it's Vicioso. You, you yeah, can I thought see it where was. We think, though. Yeah, yeah, I thought it so too. Bucktooth says, "Let's go." Blah blah blah. He wants to fight. Blah, blah, blah. DSP All is these not people going above him. Above Omnipotence makes the best posts. So. <laughs> so nobody pays attention to him. Okay, this is above Omnipotence. The person that makes that weird yep. evil laugh to the first yep. creature. I don't think I can confirm this is Phil, but I think it is. Uh, he says, uh -huh. nobody pays attention to him because we don't have to beat the shit out of him in real life. Just ignore the man behind the curtain. Yeah, I feel, I again, I, I, feel I can't like tell that if that's him be. or not. Yeah, I can't <laughs> tell if that's him or not. Uh, and then we go, I think that's the end of the fun for that, and yes, it is. That was it for the whole thing. After that, the tournament kind of starts. There's no more nonsense that I found. Let me make sure yeah. of it, though. I did scroll down. Bucktooth, got the phone number of somebody. And that was it. That was, <clears throat> that was, oh, excuse me. Uh, above, uh, Nitsnitz does respond to Phil and says, physical form. Is that right? Don't forget, I will be at Marvelous Capcom. Don't have me make you drop the soap. Flimsy. Evil Oof. laughs. Ooh. <laughs> this guy is a character. Man, it's confident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, I proudly announce the first ever Northeast versus Midwest Ooh, Most that Extreme sounds... Elimination Challenge event. That sounds like this. Who... Likes to promote things like this. <laughs> this feels very much like a wrestling promo. And look, look at this. This 
There is no oh, nobody. Is, okay, let's oh, just read. Let's that, just read it. This yeah, will be our yeah, grand yeah, finale. Let's yeah. read it. All right. So uh, Midwest Championship. Duh. I like that. Duh. Rules. This will be a team elimination event. Teams will decide amongst themselves the order they will play before the event starts. This prints counterpicking. It'll only be revealed at the time of the event. Elimination style. Player one, blah, blah, blah. Magic we single elimination. Every player gets to select one character that we use throughout the entire event. This will be recorded. Blah, 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 blah. Teams may award the same character. Blah, blah. No money is involved. This is not about cash, guys. It's about bragging rights, respect, and the love of the game. Let's see. Respect. Who really <laughs> is the best. Okay, but the question remains. Wait, 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 wait. One moment. Ooh, ooh. The PS2 to arcade converters will be allowed for this event as long as they work. I will test them mm. on Saturday morning and confirm. As long as they mm -hmm. work, guys. As long as they as work. As long as they work. Mm -hmm. I wonder who but that the, my But the question also. remains. Who is on the teams? It's pretty simple. I love this, like, asking questions and then right, answering them right away. Yep. Like, trying to spin this narrative, like, or running some great novel or something. Okay. It's pretty simple. Now, you guys might be thinking, <laughs> how can I support the stream? How can I best yeah. support Phil? Well. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right. It's pretty simple. At 3 p.m. on Saturday, I will see who is physically at WC, and I will make an announcement that if you feel you're good enough to present the event, to come see me. I want to, I, God, I would love to have this announcement audio. If you feel you're good enough to play me, come on over. Please keep in mind that if you're not in the mid Midwest or East Coast, you're not allowed to compete. Sorry, Bucktooth. Damn. Sorry, Bucktooth. Max actually is currently away from people who think that they are better than him to come make him his bitch. <laughs> sorry, Buck. Sorry, sorry Buck Bucktooth. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> However, due to the fact that Jason Wilson, Sabre, Diehard MVC staff, basically the reason MVC is if there, they will be allowed to participate as members of Team Midwest if they so desire. Jesus, get fucked, Bucktooth. Mm, yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody else, it says no book tooths club. We're allowed one. Yeah. <laughs> so come over to this place. And if you, you might get decided to join this event. Sounds like a cool event. You might get chosen. Just be ready, fuckers. Anyways, um, team would fight. I personally would love to see a 10 on 10. And since we'll have two hours to do it, I don't see why this can't be possible. So that's the plan of action. Let's get fucking hype. I think we were about mm. to start a new MWC tradition that is going to become legendary. <laughs> I mean, come on, Finn. Mm. How do you know? <laughs> Just You're trying to start this thing with such a loose idea. We are about to start an MWC tradition that is going to become legendary. Just relax, man. All right. Oh, yeah, one more thing. At the same time. Get one high. more thing, you motherfuckers. Just in case you think uh -huh. that some people might decide to go next to last or last to be on Easy Street. Well, guess mm -hmm. what? I hereby setting a rule. That if you decide to be the anchor, last person to play in your team, that the next year you are not allowed to be the anchor. So choose mm -hmm. wisely. Who do you think mm -hmm. this is talking to, listeners of the what podcast? That one's about. Yeah. Who do you yeah. think he's talking to here? That's strange. Mm. It's very odd that that's a very specific because that's a very specific thing, isn't it? Yeah, like, I, don't, I don't know. Being the anchor, it's very. I mean. <sighs> Oh, what it do you must, think? <laughs> let's come out of somewhere, but I don't, don't really know where. It's a really weird rule. I, I wonder, yeah. like, let's if you in this tournament this though, what would you get if you get fourth place? Let me. I, I gotta ask my friend here real quick. What do you, what, what do you get if you're fourth, fourth place? Fourth place doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, thanks. I just, well, I'm not sure about that. So I'm gonna forget. Uh, but this is absolutely 100% directed at Sir Wong. Mm -hmm. This this is such a small stupid thing, but it, this shows you a great look into the mindset of how he holds on to the littlest thing and the jealousy of someone. Well, not I mean, that we didn't see too much jealousy. I mean, it comes from his place of jealousy, but in this thread itself, all we're seeing <sighs> is that Phil kiss can't handle not being responded to number one, not that... having total control and power of everything. He, he, he the, the, the mm -hmm. little, little drop of power he has, has sent him to this. I am the Lord of this thing. We're going to set new traditions that are going to become legendary. But Justin Wong, if you take one step out of line, oh, I can still talk to you. Don't forget I'm the tournament organizer, motherfucker. Don't forget that. God damn, man. This, this is uh, less jealousy and more frustration because yes. he has been ignored. He's just so fucking frustrated that Justin Wong did not even respond to him. That he made this message, this this message, this rule deliberately to fuck him over. Because he said, 
if you just, you know, I, I think I could squeeze it in. Just, you know, put us last just to be safe. You know, put us last in the team of five. Make me yeah, yeah. like the Make fifth me person to play. Make me last or fourth, you know, somewhere close. So that I can fit it in, get it done, and then move on to something else. Because, you know, playing a lot of games, obviously. I mean, a couple of rounds, different games, different tournaments. So, yeah, just, just if you could fit us in, that'd be fantastic. And Phil's <laughs> like, right, I am going to fuck this guy over. I'm going to make a rule. The next year, Justin, fuck you. <laughs> To pull this gonna... out and bust it out and be like, do you remember last year, Justin, when you were the anchor? You'd be Not like, uh, no, <laughs> what? Could you, what tournament was that again? Like, that's what literally yeah. would happen. Like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what, what okay, that was Midwest Championship. I'm sorry, I play a lot of tournaments. What? What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah, Wait, remember this tournament? Play that? Yeah, it was legendary. I, I remember, remember winning at MVC. There's <laughs> yeah. a CVS2 thing going on. Um, did I do Super Turbo that year? <laughs> it was fucking legendary. Remember that? And, Phil, and, and Justin, hype. the best thing is like Justin will have no fucking clue what he's talking about either. Like, uh, what you said a rule last year? Right, I'll bet. Anyways. I'll bet. Like when Justin comes to post on this, we're like, "Hey guys, is anybody being at this place?" Just scroll right past that. Uh huh. Absolutely. Right past it. Scroll right. I don't give a fuck about your dumbass rules. I have more important shit to do. Uh, anyways, let's keep going. Yes, you can mm-hmm. test it. I've been testing myself. <clears throat> anyways, um, here we go. This is um. Wasn't that what he used? Uh, I want to see DSP beasting on his own joystick in an arcade setting. Not to mention other pad custom stick players. All right. So he wants to see DSP beasting on people. Okay. Mm. Shinji Gohan, future DSP fan. Uh, anyways, right here. Uh, yes, but they were at, mashing at the same time as the players on the cabinets. So how can you tell if it's really working in that environment? For an official playtest tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay. And, and I'll ask yeah, NK yeah. I to record. Okay. About the adapters and all that. Yeah. DSP, I'm down for this, but you should do it game Newton style. No problem, blah, blah, mm. blah. And that yeah, yeah, was right. it. That's the end of the post. But I do want to give you just for... Big up for, uh, well, <laughs> like, oh, Yeah, yeah, you know. Before yeah, the fall. You know, I do want to see if we can get the final uh, Midwest Championships SBO qualifier. Let's see if we can find the... the uh, I'm going to fi- try to look. I should have got it ready before, but I just want to make sure... And see if I can get the results of this one. That'd be pretty hype. Way to finish this. Because I'm telling you right now, guys, we are not going to get to the podcast episode, but I promise you we will next week. Steve, hopefully you can find time in your schedule next week to get to the podcast part of this episode. I did not expect mm-hmm. this to go three hours, but that happens sometimes. Oh, dude, like the podcast live things where Phil actually has to interact with other people are always <clears> amazing. <throat> So, yes, yes, yes. I'll be so, uh, and I will hopefully be feeling better. You are not scammed. No one's getting scammed. No one's getting scammed. As you can hear, he Steve is basically dying. So can we please give him a break? <laughs> and also, I wouldn't mind a break either. But uh, uh, I'm trying to find the results. It's not coming up on the first glance. Let me see. Uh, results. Um, this is called... We have talked me- about a lot of Justin Wong today. So we've yes. not <laughs> really been scammed, technically. And you know, like, how little interaction there was? This is pretty much the best. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Midwest 2000 Champions results. I'm looking for it here. Chatting with you, we've been talking. There's been interaction between us and the chat. <laughs> I can't find. I can't find the results right anywhere. Streamers. Yeah. Oh. So that is it. If anyone can find it, I'll show it. But you're not again. No that probably sort of like says that for Justin. It was just another tournament. Like he just played a couple of games there and moved on. Yeah. <laughs> like, but like for but, Phil, he's like, oh, that day I've never forgotten. <laughs> but is it in recap. So many good lines from this from this episode. Uh, again, mm. it was kind of light on the interactions between DSP and, and Justin Wong, but the ones that were there, it's all one-sided, for sure. Yeah. And you saw how it works, right? DSP, let, let, let's start, let's, real quick recap. Quick recap of the whole night. We started with posts of Phil saying um, how this tournament's happening. Cool, I'm here. It's going to be hype, right? He's, 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 first, he talked about commentary he wants to do, Right? commentary i want to do i want to do this commentary i'm so great at commentary mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. justin comes in uh Ju- um, justin comes into the, into the chat says i want money matches i want money matches then someone talks about how the, the I, I want a nki says hey i want some money matches phil want to do this with me phil says i'm not doing that version because of all these problems then someone works his ass off and makes a new thread about all the different the non-differences there are there are some differences yep. but he proves out how some, but, yep. a, a lot of the ones that people say are differences or not Right? They're not. Well, a lot of the ones that Phil says. <laughs> or not. Yeah, exactly, Phil. That that thread got shut down because probably because fucking Phil snitched on it. Then we get back to this thread. Phil is made tournament organizer of this. Right? Made tournament organizer of this, of, of one of the tournament organizers. And then he gets the power trip. 
All these people bitching about stuff. People asking for for place to stay. Get the fuck out of here. What's wrong with you, dumb fuck? All these you sudden problem. rules. All these yeah. sudden rules about things. Yeah. Very happy to say that. Very happy to have all these Here's fucking, the fucking rules. timings. Here's who's allowed. Here's what you're allowed <laughs> to play on. And if then, you, if, if 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 you don't get there on time, get fucked. <laughs> then what happens? Money. Ma Justin Wong asks for money matches, and then Phil it it just breaks. Phil. Phil says, "Hey." You, you just kind of get bored of begging. People that want to do money match for you just going to lose are pretty cringe, actually. <laughs> that, then that happened. And then it just went on from there. And finally, we get to the point where Phil says there's a, they're going to do a massive Team East versus Midwest or whatever. And, and how dare Justin Wong say, I want to do the end. I want to do yeah. the end. Okay, well, if that's the case, if you ask for the end, next year you can't be the anchor. So choose your position carefully, assholes. And all because Justin Wong was not responding to him. He gets the admiration that Phil wants. He gets the respect that Phil wants. And that's why this episode was entitled Green with Envy. Because Phil wants to be everything Justin Wong is, but he just can't. Yeah. Also, also, it was fucking great when he'd be like, just stop asking for money matches. And then the next post from Justin Wong would be, oh, seriously, does anyone want a money match? <laughs> anyone want it? <laughs> no one gave, Justin did not give two fucks about that. Stop asking for a money match, dude. And we also got the classic line, Stop begging, please. Stop <laughs> begging, please. Always remember that. Always remember that. All right? So you guys, I promise we're going to get another episode early, a bonus-style mm -hmm. episode of Density Scrolls. So that means two Density Scrolls next week. If I can't hear but any the price of one. That's, that's the value price of one. money, though. Thanks so much, everybody, that was contributed in any way. All the new members, you guys are legends. You guys are fantastic. This is the most fun I have in the week. I promise mm -hmm. you that. And it's all because of you guys. And without you guys in the chat helping out with all the fucking knowledge either, that, uh, you know, we wouldn't be able to, there's a lot of shit we don't know, and then you guys know, so that makes it fucking awesome. So, yeah. anyways, that being said, side of things, we'll see you on Sunday. Steve, anything going on mm -hmm. tomorrow with, uh, we share uh, about it, or we'll see you on Sunday? No, just so day. I'm going to rest up for a band, try to be well. Sounds good to me. Please go to sleep, and t mm -hmm. be sure to get, hi stay hydrated, please. Stay hydrated. Yeah, I'll stay hydrated. <laughs> God damn, stay hydrated, too. <laughs> All right, everyone's a fucking legend. We'll see you next week. We'll see you Sunday for that being said, and we'll do a bonus episode of Density Scrolls next week. Everyone's a legend. Everyone understands that. We'll see you next time, guys. You are a legend. Never forget it. It's like, what the fuck?